Anyways, on that note, thank you for awesome show. Like, share, subscribe to the thing. We are out. Have a blessed evening, everybody. I'm done. Isn't even on. Yo, can you people hear me in the comments? Um, you know what? If you can actually give me a thumbs up, don't worry, that was only a psych. Can you people hear me? Somebody in the comments, give me a sign and go easy on me, please. Go easy on me. I'm having a bit of technical difficulties here, like the arsenal, as always. Give me a sign. Somebody give me a sign. I'm up and running. Are we doing this? Thank you, Rona. Thank you. Thank you for that. How's it going, people? Welcome back to the channel. Like Arsenal, my Wi-Fi is having te technical difficulties. But you know what? You guys have been waiting for a while, for a long time. I'm not going to keep you waiting any, any much more longer. So I humbly apologize for that. You know what? Sorry, doesn't. it's not a plaster. But you know what? Without further ado, I've got a special panel of guests tonight. So, without further ado, allow me to bring the first one in. My guy, my brother from another mother, fresh from Anto, the original one, Mr. Beast, my G. How's it going, my guy? Good, good. And you, Devi? I'm good. I had better days, man. I feel a bit bad because I let the people in the comments waiting. And I, I'm sitting here. You know what? You know what? Let me not even lie to you guys. I have two routers here, both of them are fucked. So you know what? Tonight it's me and Liver Yisa. So I let the Lord carry me tonight, my brother. But otherwise, you're good. I'm good, good Davy. Ah, good. Glad to have you back. You know what? It takes a while, but we are here nonetheless. And of course, a late entry, but he wanted to join. And you know what? Anyone is always welcome on the show. So my brother wanted to join. Liverpool are flying. He's flying. It can only be the one and only, the man who beat Rocky's ass in Rocky number two, Mr. T. How are you doing, my guy? Hi, Davy. <laughs> Thank you for that intro. <laughs> uh, are you good? Good, good, man. And you? <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> Glad you loved it, my man. You, I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it. You know. So, anyways, but you're feeling good, my guy. Are you good? Are you much better than what I am currently? Much better, like you said. I'm flying, but uh, Liverpool is doing good in Europe and in Premier League. So, yeah, I can't complain. I'm always well. If I, you know what I always say when I speak to you guys, it's therapy, man. I'm not in a good good space right now. I'm boiling actually, like I'm sitting here, and the the technical issues before and didn't help the situation either. But we move. Uh, And of course, without further ado, the man who always has the biggest smile, but I'm sure tonight his smile is going to be on a different level because his team is flying, he's flying, he's back, he's red, his feet doesn't stick out the bed. It's Benny B, my brother from another mother. How are you doing, my guy? I'm great, Brad. Way better than the start of the spot. It's been a mess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just hope it's gonna get better the from here. Like fucking Arsenal, my man. Brad, you're really like our titties are produced. I can only I can't really anyways, fucking worse than that shit. We move, we move, bro, we move. You know what? You can call me anything. Do not call me Otita, but 
We move, we move, we move. <laughs> Let me just sort out this charger, yo, because I can feel my wife is going to do madness on me tonight. But without further ado, big ups to all of you guys in the comments. Um, again, once again, I apologize um, for keeping you guys waiting. Um, technical difficulties, but we are here now. So we might as well get into it. Um, of course, you know what to do. Like the thing, share the thing, subscribe to the thing. We're here to talk some football and have some fun. You guys know what to do in the comment section. Make that comment section a fire one. Anyways, where's Mr. P? You know what? Where's Mr. P? I am a man of my word, and I am the one person that can give it. And I can <laughs> take didn't it. bring him in. But now there's one thing that's been getting on my nerves. He is coming well, he in later, but he's coming in later. Don't worry about Mr. P. He's coming in later. Oh, he okay, out, but he's okay. coming in later. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were no, about about in the, in the background. Seriously, I won't lie to you. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it's not just for it. I wouldn't be surprised if we've got Master P in the background. Guys! Anyway, in the like you're saying, you You know what? Uh, wait quickly before you before we carry on. The spot is already fucked up, so we might as well just do a little bit of madness. Let me just ask him quickly. Where you at? Mr. P. Um. Oh, school. You know what? You <laughs> asking You know what? Just for interest, to make sure the spot goes perfect. I just got my router. I literally just got my router lined up perfectly. I'm dead serious. <laughs> my yeah. router is up and running. I'm going to jump out and jump back and talk amongst yourselves. Lead the way. But the oh, first shit. topic is, is it really progress or has this process failed? And Bista, I want you to lead that line for me and tell me why you think it's progress. Yes, Bista must give his opinion as the Arsenal Closet supporter. Go ahead, Bista. <laughs> I really thought you were talking about United now. Bram, uh, you got the question there. Chigo, Chigo's in the comments. He's not in. So, now I, I still feel the same way about Arsenal. I didn't expect Arsenal to win all the games for the rest of the season without Teto there. We know they're playing poor soccer. They were playing cuck soccer. They were doing things wrong. They got the odd three points, but Debbie wanted 10 points from the next uh, four games. He got six. One game he lost. He's got one more to go. So I don't think Arsenal is doing too they bad. Lost they United lost against United and they lost against Everton. Yeah, that's it. They won the two before that. Yeah. So they're on Eddie, six. It's, 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 the players is playing this man out, I feel. I feel that United went through the same thing with Ole. The same thing is happening now with Arsenal. How do you miss the opportunities that they have been missing, James? They are playing, they're throwing this manager under the bus. I feel United did the exact same thing with Tokesha. Missing that fucking sitters. Look at Aubameyang in the last minute of that game. Sure. Look at him the week before. Look at him the week before. Yeah. That's three sitters in a row. A hat-trick of sitters, bruh. Edin Ketia came back on. Yeah, he missed from a yard out right in front of the fucking pole. Pepe's on the bench. Ketia said he doesn't want to sign a contract. Why are you playing Ketia? What did Pepe do? Pepe was the winner there last season, if I'm mistaken. I could be mistaken, but I'm sure Pepe was the winner there last season. Why is he not uh, playing in Mandarin and get one minute in three games? In Ketia came on in all three. Why? Mm. Maybe TV can answer. It's a Tony situation. It's a Tony yeah. situation. Yes, but in Ketia is playing and he's not wanting to sign a contract. That's not yeah. the same thing. That's not the same thing, bro. If in Ketia doesn't want to sign a contract, why are you keep why are you playing him and why are you keeping players that is going to be the next season? So he can season. sign. So he can sign. If he's not gonna play, he's obviously not gonna sign. Now they have no leverage. He made his decision sign. already. If they're gonna he use him, decision. he can think. He made his decision. To change his mind. Take I just think Arsenal need to get rid of a bumming out in Lakas if that look at the midfield and the defense is fine. Then they did. Then they did. Because no, no, no one is going to go to them now. And replace what them, strike are they going to sign if they, if they lose that too? They can sign Callum Wilson maybe from the castle. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but he's right. Their form has just been putrid, bruh. And on paper, Obama and Lacazette 
should be top four at least ah. is that you strike for partnership Obama yeah. and Lacazette. If you say Obama and Lacazette, right, the two of them is cut in Kane, it's just so Kakorigi has more goals than Kane. Kane plays yeah. every week. We're not talking about Kane got Kane. one goal. We weren't goal. talking about Spurs. We weren't Kane yeah. talking about Kane or Spurs. No, right? no but I'm, Kane I'm is saying, cut, I'm Kane. saying, I'm not a fan. No, Benny, but I'm saying you don't go, you don't go that rational way and say, like I said, and Obama must leave the club because they're not scoring. That's all. Arsenal is in the chops if they lose that too. Playing their chops yeah, with him. Them. Yeah. yeah, but these 30 babies, they have a job. They win the odd game. I think like this contract expires next summer. I think I don't know. But um a bumming I'm like the guy's then is probably gonna leave January. If they're yeah. gonna make money of him. Yeah. And would you sign in January as a striker for Arsenal? Who is there even available? Pookie. <laughs> no one. No, no one. Pookie won't no one is gonna want to go. I'm Pookie, I won't if Norwich for Arsenal. They couldn't sign doing <laughs> Dia. <laughs> they couldn't sign doing Dia, but uh. There's nobody in the market available for Arsenal right now. They're talking about Flavich. Prem says Pepe's, Pepe's awful. Pepe is awful. <laughs> he, he might be, have been awful or he is awful now, but you know what he has in the tank. Like mm. you said last year, he was the, oh, the one at the run. At the He's, a He's a talented he player. He's a talented player. He's a talented player. And if you're going to look about talent, I'm going to say he's a more talented player than Eden Ketia. <laughs> Honestly, but these are even Saka. Saka, Saka. Saka. Look, at, look how Saka played for Arsenal uh, for England. Saka, yeah. Saka does the business when he's playing for England. Saka but Peter, remember, yeah, but uh, it's him alone. But remember, Liverpool wanted to sign Pepe in, eh? before Salah. Remember that because um, Pepe was he was played for, for um, was it Napoli no, before for Arsenal for Leo. For Leo, for Leo. Yeah, and yeah, he was, everybody was linked with him, even United. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Even United. But that's, his, his, his progression has not been there, and that, that mm. can be the reason why he's on the bench, but I don't see him staying on the bench for Eddie Nketiah. Yeah. I understand that he's not in the form of his life right now, and I understand that he's not the best for the starting eleven. but he's going to look off the bench for three games in a row, and you're going to pick Nketiah, who's not done yeah. anything off the bench in that three games, yeah. besides Miss fucking sitters, Explain that to me then, because I'm pr pretty sure it's going to happen in the fourth game as well. I, I don't remember who you guys are playing this weekend, but if you're going to lose against that shit Everton team who was poor in the first half, but should have gone ahead if it wasn't for tight, tight offside calls. Okay. Shows you how poor they are. I've listened. I've listened. Can you guys all hear me clearly? Am I not lagging yes. or anything like that? No, you tell it's hundred percent, bro. Okay, yeah, my ruthless charge. Uh, welcome again. Welcome, Master P. How are you, my brother? I'm all right. And yourself, David D. I'm all right, my brother. Look, um, if I was, I, I used since Monday to calm down. If I, if I was calm today, <laughs> I would officially reach that level that I was at on Monday. So, <laughs> let me go in. Let me go in here again. Um, bigger Bradley, I saying your Wi-Fi is. Arsenal is as as Davis' wife, so I agree with that, actually. Um, look, I've kept quiet. I've literally kept quiet. I've kept quiet for a while because, Mister, you know, we've had many discussions on this pod where we have said that what has been going on, we've been playing well in spurts. Mm -hmm. It's not sustainable. And your goalkeeper bailing mm. you out is not sustainable. Mm. So now I'm gonna come on to it, and you guys must really excuse me because I'm I've been battling with network issues now for the past half an hour, so I'm actually fuming right now. And the fact that you guys that we opened the show with Arsenal didn't help the situation in any case. You started the topic, but you left us with that shit. Yeah, I know, but you guys you guys carried it well, so big ups to you. But look, let me be honest and let me put it out to you like this. If there was ever a sign that you needed that this manager is out of his depth. You've seen it in the past week. Yeah. Let me put it to you like this. What was the initial game in the beginning? What was the PR word you used to use in the beginning? Project Youth. Then I'll go back to when we played against Youth. I haven't seen Mohamed El sideways for fuck knows this whole fucking season. 
Mohamed El Saad was walks right back into the team after Sam Bilicon. So, Conker had a brilliant game. No? Come along. Come along. 100% you're oh. right. That is a surprise to everyone. Back into, I'm, I'm coming on to the senior players because I heard you guys talking about Aubameyang and Eddie Murphy and Ketty. I'll come on to them again because I have a fat load now to say. Now I'm actually vexed now, actually. And then, after that, he brings in Granit Xhaka at Everton that hasn't played for months. He last played a game in September against Tottenham, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Do you know what I mean? So, that already throws out your project youth. That's done. Now I'm going to come on to the signings. What was said in the beginning of the season? Let's watch this team play together. I've seen this team play together the entire fucking season and I've not seen nothing but Ayaman jobless crap football. We don't create shit, my bro. So you can talk about Aubameyang. Yes, I know he's out of form. But if you have a team that plays sideways, backwards, sideways, backwards, sideways, backwards, slow build up, I can tell you how it's going to play. It's going to go to Ramsey. It's going to go to Ben Shite. It's going to go to Partey. It's going to go wide. It's going to come inside. It's going to go there. It's going nowhere. So how can you as a striker <laughs> score as many goals with crap football like that? Bear in mind that Aubameyang and Lacazette were on fire under Emery. Let that, let that sink in. Now I'm going to come on to how many players have regressed under this manager. I'll go to PP. If Paul Pogba is United's PP, I don't even want to use the ugly P word, but I'm going to say pathetic party. But you guys already know what P word I'm going to use. Man has been dog shit. You guys already know what word I'm going for when it comes to P. Obamian has regressed. Laka said looks like Laka threat. Aubameyang, I don't know if Aubameyang is one week being Adia can buy with his Peter or them wingy. My guy is running Saka into the ground. Straight into the ground. Yamal Murtu. I can see it. And then you know what? You know what? Forget that. Forget that. How many times have I said already that this team is break your virginity FC? How many times have I said that? I had a massive meltdown. On the red table, big up Dale. Happy birthday to Dale. After we play Happy Paris. Happy birthday, Dale. Yo, where's Dale? After this, we bro? score, after we take the lead, <laughs> what do we do? We sit back and retreat. It's happened thrice. It happened against United. It happened against yes. Palace. And it happened against Everton. Why are you yeah. sitting back? We didn't deserve anything out of that Everton game. They pammed us. They pammed us straight to heaven. And you know what? <laughs> I've now taken a lot. From all of this, this Arteta in motherfuckers now. And I'm now vexed. Because <laughs> you know what? We've all watched Gremlins, right? We've all watched Gremlins. Do you know how the Arteta ends? You guys have no idea how my phone goes off. You've watched Gremlins. These are Arteta ends when Arsenal win a game. When they're, they're like Gremlins eating chicken past 12 in the kitchen. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> when we lose a game... When we lose, they want to be caressed. No, no, you negative. No, 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 press the bases. No, you negative. Go support another team. Fuck off. You're not a real supporter. Well, you know what? This is my word to you, Arteta Inns, watching the show. I haven't had a single peep out of you since last week, Thursday. I haven't had jack shit. Number two, you do not tell me I have to support my team. I've got fucking standards. I could see that Benjamin bent me over and fucked me white as garbage. And what did he do in the last <laughs> day? That shit. You know why I can do that? Because I've got two functioning eyes and a multifunctioning brain. The eye test doesn't look like. And you don't tell me how to support my club. And you know what actually gets on my damn nerves? No, seriously, man. I, I'm not fixed now. I'm actually fixed. No, get to my damn nerves. Is when I mention... Benjamin, fuck me. I will fuck me in the ass, white. When I... People, like when I say, um, would Chelsea accept this? Would Chelsea accept no. this? Then they're like, no, um, no. But um, oh, Chelsea no. fans, Chelsea fans don't really know football. They started watching football the other day. I don't care when you start watching football. If you start watching football yesterday, you are a football fan. It's not about my balls are bigger than yours. <laughs> the, the crest on my damn leg. 
I got more jerseys than what you've had one night stands. So suck your mom and yeah. suck your grandmother to a grand school. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> I know exactly how that man feel. We lost final thoughts. Yeah. 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 Even though exactly I can say final thoughts in the show is done. Even though I can say final thoughts in the show is done. Yeah, are you just been <laughs> over you know what? and fucking the You know what? You're not the one getting the messages past six in the morning. Phone bombing off. Trust the process. Trust the process. What is the process? <laughs> Let me show you something. Let me show you something. I want to show you something. I'm going to bring up something on the screen. They say women lie. Men lie, but numbers don't. Look at this blood. Look at this. Look at that. Seven goals from open play, my man. Look at that. Big Sean's <laughs> great at 19th. There's no Pascal's <laughs> law. You tell me what manager can survive this run. Ateta, we had we can't say all anymore. Sack, we can't say all anymore. It's Ateta, bro. To sack this clown. Let me put it like this: that run right there, we had, we had. That was the first chance he should have gone. After he played Emil Smith Rowe as a false nine, he should have gone already. And after a three-game run in the beginning of the season, he should have gone. Football is a result game. I want to out. Smith Rowe worked out. Smith Rowe worked out. He scored goals. Yeah. Yes, no, when he played as a false nine, that worked out for me. Hmm. It didn't it's not your York. It didn't work out of his VRL. It didn't work out against United either. Like, what, six weeks? Out of eight weeks, he scored six weeks. No, against United, Arsenal was just pathetic. That was like saying Ronaldo not scoring against us in our game. It's not yeah, about that man, one person. I'm saying guys, when you Arsenal played well, he was because, finishing. Because I know tomorrow I'm going to get messages. Why are you overreacting like this? You guys tell me. Look, I, I nah, say you're not overreacting. I, I can't, I, you're not overreacting I can't comment on that. That is for <laughs> United. That was only the last time what I felt like that about my club was when King Kenny was my coach. Arsenal is cut. Now we must come in. And what to do with United? I'm, I'm saying the way I felt about the manager, the last time I felt so cuck about my manager was when King Kenny was there, the second time. Not, not Other uh, than that, I was fine. Not with Brendan Rodgers. I've been here, Roy, Roy also in no. Yes, sir. Can I anyone Brendan of you Rogers. might give me a reason why the manager that was should the be in a role? Can we move on? Oh, is anyone of you going to say, I'm seeing progress, there is improved that's, the defense? That's, the, that's true what Jawad is saying there. That is Jawad is saying there. It was, if it, if only, now it's like the limelight is, all, it's mm. only your data left. He's the only one. Yeah. All the other Hello, rotten fruits is gone. Is anyone going to disagree with me or what? You're more than welcome to because I want somebody to disagree with me. No, no. Easter. We fully agree with you, Davy. We we agree. Agree. No, no, I agree with I agree with what Davy saying. Yes, I was Arsenal in Otete, in Arsenal in Otete. And I still believe that he has a chance, but I don't expect um, two months of football to go past mm. and he win and he loses all eight games. It's two years, Beast. It's two but years. He, he it's not two that... months. It's two years. It's two yeah. years. Now I'm just talking Beast. about this season. Beast, let me not let, two let years me add. Lost. Yeah. Let me just ask you something quickly. Yeah. You, you think? Mm. Do you think Arteta can still take them to the top four now? Like no. honestly, because that he was very close, right, to the top four before this whole yeah. shenanigans. You know what I mean? So, like, do you still believe? To... No, to be when honest, close, like, didn't even make be... a rope last season, bruh. I was no, just man, I'm talking now. about this. At the big like, you, he, at Arsenal, some point he was wasn't even something on the lead, on the table. I don't expect I don't expect Arsenal to make top four whether Arteta is there or anyone else is there. I don't expect Arsenal to beat top four because they are not the top four side. That we, that you exactly. first need to remember that if you look at the rest of England, they are not the top four side. So if they don't make top four, it's not a failure for them. 
Arsenal needs to come to that level again where they are a top four team. United came back to a top four team now only. United didn't yeah. play good football. We never liked their football for the past few years. Some managers that came in, we saw a style of it, but it was not that consistent that we know United can have to be a top no, four team. So the I don't like Arsenal to be that. top four. Except for Ole. Only That's what I'm saying. Ole was if, <laughs> if Arteta stays or anyone else comes in, mm-hmm. Arsenal's their, their goal shouldn't be make Champions League. For them, they shouldn't play Champions League for the next two years and just build on the team. Come back strong. Come but back you with your PR that Devin was mentioning earlier. Agree, Steph. Agree 100%. My man, my man, the thing is, I'm not saying we are top four, but he should at least be getting better out of the squad, my bro. People are saying that we are mm. um, teams who are in a crisis and blah, yeah. blah, blah. David Moyes came in a week after he came into the job last season. Look at David Moyes flying. Yeah. Now, with all due respect to Western and with all due respect to Chase, mm. yeah. we have better players in our squad, like seriously, man. I agree with People you. Yeah. Like I agree that is true. That's, that, that's, that's something that up in a nutshell. Point. Yeah, that's so, a very that's good exactly point. What saying there. That's exactly what Jigga is saying there. I've, I've, I've had, I want to come on to more different things. I've had enough of my head. is actually pining from that end now, actually. But, Master P. <laughs> have a great point of beer. No, nah, I have a beer here. Yeah, don't worry, I'm chilled. Um, talk to me, my guy. You guys have a lot of injuries lately. Um, I, I know you have a lot of injuries. I'm sure you, you're missing chill well. That's evident to see. Um, I mean, Kante is out. Um, Sol, Niguez is doing party stuff. Okay, you can't be a first for his party, but I mean, we can both agree they're not, they're not thriving. But um, is it just a minor blip or is the injury starting to tell on you, on your squad, Master P? What do you think? Well, first of all, let me, before I answer your question, um, give a shout out to David Moyes. Um, I think he is uh, doing a good job. Um, I think a lot of people are taking what he's doing there for granted, you know what I mean, just because... Um, it's e- it's easy to see a team perform and um, just take away the credit from the managers because it's killing all the big teams. So credit to him. And big up to Chase if he's watching this. Uh, congratulations. I think you guys played a very good game um, overall. And I thought you actually deserved to win the game, you know. So big ups to that. Uh, to get back to your point, uh, the moment Chilwell went down against Juventus. Um, but did, didn't you set the manager? <laughs> Yeah, uh, the moment Benchio went down um, against Juventus, I knew that there was going to be a lot of problems. It's not because of the goals he scored or the tackles won or anything like that. When you look at Ben Chio, you look at a Mr. Chelsea type of player. You know what I mean? He he mm. he bleeds that blue. You know what I mean? Like he calls out everybody. He's a leader. He's one of the leaders amongst the, the players on the pitch. So that was a big, big blow to us. Um, obviously to lose him and immediately I knew there was going to be problems especially in that position that he plays um, and then of course you've got the Kante issue the same game too against Juventus where he limps off and then he gets off um, mm. I mean that's I, mean, I don't even need to justify Kante I think we all know what he brings to the table you know what I mean so when you look at those two massive injuries and the fact that Lukaku was also out and he was supposed to be integrated back into the squad I mean, you gotta. You, you, it, it, it's it's a terrible time, uh, you know, for us for our squad. Uh, but not to make any excuses. Look, at the end of the day, we do have a deep squad, and that's why we have all those players to fill in those positions. You know what I mean? I just feel like a couple of them haven't been pulling their weight, and I think that's the issue. You know, so in the well, if he was listening to me, you would know that I'm not making any excuses. But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. That, that came through when you were commenting on the Arsenal, man. That comment came through earlier. With the Arsenal. Oh, it came through earlier. It came through earlier. Oh, oh, came through earlier. Nah. Like, but Pesco with a burn, man. Pesco with a burn. You only put it on now. Pesco with a burn. I was, I was wondering what, the, <laughs> what show is he watching. But anyway, yeah, so like I think. With the Arsenal, with the Arsenal stuff. Ah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, so like you know, when you look at <laughs> when you look at the injuries to our key men, I mean, obviously, yeah, it's a terrible situation. But uh, we still have a couple of players, man, like to fill in those positions for the time being. It's just that they haven't showed up. There are a couple of players in that Chelsea team that haven't shown up. You know what I mean? And and um, 
what I saw this weekend was very uncharacteristic. I mean, we've never conceded three goals away from home in the Premier League under Tucho. And mm. these guys... Two guys. Had, eh? Yeah, exactly, you see? And, and, and then once they before that, no? Once before that. Oh, Only once. Before one. that. Yeah. yeah. And so now, now, you know, David, I don't have a problem losing, right? But I've got an issue with the manner in which you lose. I yeah, feel right? you because, on that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah because, because like if you see, if you see the, go, the penalty, for instance, that, that uh, we conceded against West Ham, like you wonder what the hell is going, that same defense that has been tied is doing mm-hmm. that. You know what I mean? You wonder to yourself what you. the heck is going I'm on. with you. Yeah. I'm in the same boat. And then, then, and then when you see their second equalizer, I mean, people are basically like nobody closes in on the guy. You know what I mean? Like, like everybody's just outside of just just before the box. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the third goal is a freakish goal. You saw that. I mean, it takes a defl- I don't think he meant that. I think it takes a deflection and then ends up in the back of the net. You know what I mean? Because of love, this cheat, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Of so, yeah. It, it just summed up the day that we had in the office. You know what I mean? It was a terrible afternoon. I thought, I thought we played very terrible for a team that was defensively tied. And uh, yeah, I think I think look at the end of the day, it was our own making, no question about that. But Let's go, me, um, I want to know. That. Sorry, sorry, TV. Go ahead. I want to know. Seeing that you're now second, you, 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 you finish second in your group, so it's it's a more difficult next round of round of sixteen for whoever finishes second, obviously. Yeah. Come Christmas time, with all our fixture list, I'm not too sure how your fixture list looks, but I'm sure it's not as easy as ours. Not. You guys not, are yeah. below United, maybe fourth, fifth, and out of the Champions League in Feb. Do you think about Tucho must out? Tucho must go. Dep- so mm-hmm. basically, like you're talking about being eliminated from the Champions League, and we're fifth in the league. Yeah. And are we out of the other cup competitions? Like, what's the status there? Like, do you? No, I think you saw in the FA Cup. Still in the FA Cup. Calling Cup. Yeah, and, and the January. Third yeah. round is yeah. January only. Yeah. 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 So I think I think he finishes the season. I don't think they fire him like like midway. I don't think so. Um because I think it, it, it can it can I, happen that quickly. I'm just saying it can happen that quickly because I was telling them before this, Chelsea looked invincible a month ago. Chelsea looked like yeah. they were gonna run twenty two points ahead in the league by January. That's yeah. how they look. Yeah. To be and, to lose two games and, by three goals. Okay, no, but they, 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 they December isn't as bad as the January. The January they play FA Cup, mm. then it's Champions League also, and the three Premier League fixtures in January is Spurs, City and Liverpool. Jesus. Mm. That's the only three games they play Premier League in January. I, I'm I'm not really sweating the live up I mean the, the, the Tottenham game. I think ah, look, I think that, that one will probably win. I'm not sweating the, t- the Tottenham game. Um, I think we win that. Obviously, Man City beat us already at the bridge. So that's a fixture to look out for. And of course, Liverpool yes. is always going to be a tough fixture. You know what I mean? But like, I still want to play you beast 11 on 11 this season. I don't want to buy into that whole, <laughs> that whole 10 versus 11. I want you guys 11 v 11. I mean, you must beat us fair and square. You know, that, that type of I'll come obviously and give you a big zap, but like to get back to Benny's question, look, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even overreacting over what happened last weekend. I think, look, all, all of our teams are gonna get a freakish result at some point. You know what I mean? And I don't think this was something that, I mean, look, David Moyes, other than man, other than United, which you guys were lucky to get because Mark Noble goes up there yeah, before yeah. it warmed up. But it would have been a take... draw, though. It wouldn't have been a loss. No. Yeah, that was to equalize, yeah, not no, to lose. But, yeah, but you guys wouldn't have beaten them. That's my point. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Like, you'd have gotten something out of the game from the London Stadium. So yeah. basically, to answer your question, I'm not really um, overreacting in any way. I think, you know, look, obviously it's two bad results. Last night, last night it was, te- I mean, 3-3. Three, three, I don't, but, but then it's, in, you know, it's away from home and that type of stuff. And you never know what happens. You know what I mean? So... Um, I'm not really sweating it. And to finish second in the group, this is my attitude. Uh, and you guys tell me if I'm wrong. Once you're in the Champions League, knockout phases, you cannot play to avoid anyone. You have mm. to be prepared to face whoever. If, you, if you're going to win it, 
You know what I mean? If, if you want to win the Champions League, there is no way you can tiptoe through anyone. You know, I'd out of want, out of probably wanted to to get an easier team than rather draw than than get a PSG or something. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, but just in the look round. at the names that is there for you to draw and the names that is there to draw for the top teams. It's no, no, exactly. That. It's huge. No, no, no. No, it's huge. No question about it. That's why I'm saying I'd have wanted to avoid a top team. But I mean, once you go through the round of 16, and then and you get to the quarterfinals, the big boys that are left, you know. So. Mm. Like in the in the end, I, I'm not really sweating the finishing of the second thing because if we're gonna win it, we gotta beat everyone. Exactly. Yeah. Look, I wanna I wanna ask a question, an unpopular opinion actually. Um I know the second leg is at home to the team that in the top. So wherever you get, they play second leg at home. Just as yeah. a panel discussion, don't you feel that gives the advantage to the team that, that that's that's playing second away from home? Yes, well, because that is, how Liverpool, that is how Liverpool also play as well. Because I always yeah. want to play away, but now they, they now must now remove the away goal. So, exactly. So, yeah. Did they? Yeah, yeah, there's no more away goal. That's, that's, yeah. that's what away I mean. goal and own goal is know, yeah. it's the same thing. I, I'm a fan mm. of that, to be honest. I'm a fan of that. Yeah. Because mm. we, we are kind of cuck on Old Trafford. <laughs> Before we move on, David. Oh, wait, I want to bring you in and then I want to bring Isado in. Big Lord Divock comes up clutch yet again, my man. How many big goals has this guy scored? Give me your assessment on the game and how big of the goal could that be in the grand scheme of things, my man? Now we all know it. We all know Divock to be like it. When they interviewed him after the game, and the what did Klopp tell you? And he said, "Go out there and beat Divock," because we don't expect anything more. And that's why I say Liverpool is so in an advantage to have a player of his quality that will sit on the bench for a month and come on for one game on a Tuesday to come win it. Whereas other teams, you can't have quality players on the bench. It's never going to play. Whereas Divock. He is our go-to guy. That is the Ole of United of 1998-1999. Where Ole is a legend at the club, but he didn't play much football. He came on more than what he started. And that is just the type of player that Fergie made him out to be. That is why they needed him. And it's difficult for teams to have players like that. Expensive players, players that can be first in players in other clubs. On the bench, and when we need you, now we bring you on. So, he will always be that guy. Now with the F-Con, we might use him more, but we've seen the when he starts sorry, a game. Sorry, it's not no visa. Did you all hear that gremlins now at 12 eating chicken, chicken in the kitchen? Don't, don't, don't. I'm calm, I'm calm. Why are you going to do this? I'm calm. Relax, I'm in house mode now. Relax. <laughs> sorry, visa. <laughs> no, nah, but I, I think I said what I wanted to say, that... that Divock will always be our guy like that. He's he's at the club for that well, reason. When he Gigo. starts a game, it's not the same. He's yeah, he's definitely a legend. Same way Ole is a legend. He's content to be on the pitch. And that's great to be. Yeah. You've been sitting quiet today as well. Striker. I want to ask you, um, Jigs, raise this point up. Um, first and foremost, all you guys in the comments, slap a like on the video, share your thoughts, um, subscribe to the thing if you are new in here, don't worry, I didn't forget about you. Um, we had a bit of technical issue, difficulties like Arsenal, but we're back on it, we're back on it. Um, anyways, back to the show. Isidore, I want to ask you, um, Jigs did say um, Divock is a legend. Would he go down as a cult hero? And I want to ask a general discussion to the panel. What the hey. FCON coming up like this for head Too much gremlins here in this pod tonight, dude. <laughs> that, you see how quick that happened out? That's how quick Kelsey fell from the top. <laughs> I just I didn't get Whoa. up so quick. I didn't get up so quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody messed with me, I got you, I'm carrying on. But anyway, is it all back to um, what Beast alluded? Um, like Jig said, Origi is a legend. I want to ask, he's come up with so many big goals. Like, I mean, the Barcelona game, the game again in the final. There was a 5 5 against us, if I remember correctly. There was the Everton game, the derby that he won that bounce. 
Mm. Now this game as well. Do you think he goes down as a cult hero in Anfield one day? And like Beaster mentioned as well, I want to also ask you with the FCON coming up, and I want to ask this to the general panel and also the people in the comments. With the FCON coming up, who's going to benefit the most out of the FCON and who is the FCON going to hurt the most? Look, David, like, like, uh, like we spoke um, earlier of, uh, um, of, of a origin for me is um, you can play brilliant one game and then the next game is like, uh, I don't want to, I don't, I'm not lust to play now. Now, the other thing, what, um, like on Saturday now against Wolves, that um, we still forgot to say, what did Jota do? That open pose, you kick, you kick the ball against the defenders. Straight, I'm like, <laughs> there was a, like Michael Owen also said, he could have put it down in the corner. But, but, but for okay, me also... Sorry, Isidro, before you go further, the reason why I didn't mention Jota was because mm. it wasn't just him. Mane had a sitter, Salah had yeah. a sitter. There was yeah. a lot of them that had sitters. That is that yeah, type of game where it just Jota's doesn't one, go in. Though. But look at Mane's one before that. The keeper yeah. saved it. And, and the last one we, we bonus points at FPL for all he saves. So it wasn't, oh, yeah. I understand Jota should have been a goal, but it wasn't just that. It was all our but is a Jota. He told me, Pista, we watched the game together on our fucking laptop. He told me, you know, that I must, I hadn't to captain Jota because Jota's playing against Wolves. Jota's not going to score. And that mm. brute did everything in that game but score. He was never going to score. Mm. But look, um, that um, that back of Wolves also kept Salah quiet. But after he, uh, after he went off, he brought on that um, Hoover guy from Liverpool, the previous um, right, uh, left back from Liverpool also. Mm. Look at Van Dijk's ball. One shot over Salah's first touch. No, that first come touch. To the, um, first oh. touch. Origi, two touches. Go. I'm like, yo. No, that was that was brilliant, and like like baby also just said now, he scored a goal, important goals against um, um, what was it, uh, Barcelona, against Spurs to win the Champions League. So yeah, but, but like I said, the, <laughs> they wanted to see how the guy last season with twenty million or this early this year also. So I don't know what is clubs because club for me sometimes I I I'm trying to read him, but I can't read it, man. But yeah, but. Look, David, like you asked, yes, I would say already is a he is a legend, already. Fair enough. Just by the Peace. goals that he scored, man. Not the amount of goals, yeah. but the the the, 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 the important goals, the quality man. of goals, the caliber of goals. It's the, the goals in the moments that matter. There we go. Mm. Not just once, not just twice. He's yeah. like every single goal he scores. I can remember. Can you remember 1989? Beast, Jolly Cobb, but that oh, it was a mad, mad party. Yeah. And he came and scored the win against Newcastle mm. with that header coming on in the last five yeah. minutes. That's why he does it lost continuously. And that is why, yes, mm. that is why he is a legend. And he will, he will, it's going to be the center of the game. a statue in front of Liverpool for mm. Divock, I feel. Even though he's yeah. going to end his whole Liverpool career with 18 goals. That's 18 brilliant, very important goals. And second, David, just to, yeah. just to yes, goals, just to the goals, the goals, Now go on, go on. Yeah, like I was saying, the thing for me also now is that that um, Wolves game against Liverpool also. I thought it's gonna be like those one of those games where we where we um, had chances to score, and then it's again ah uh, that no no if because see how Chelsea also slipped up. Winter throw the game, then we still behind Chelsea also. But yeah, um, like I said, last uh, what is soccer ninety minutes, and yeah, and we scored one goal. And, and look at the look at the scenes on the on and off the pitch also when the goal went in as well. It was like yo, <laughs> club even was like woo, a story is also. <laughs> I always say that. I think he took Jimmy on the line, line no? Yeah, yeah he did, he did. Him, yeah. <laughs> That's why you can say in in you can see now already who is the, going to be the champions. I feel it's going to be Liverpool because these are not the games that you're supposed to win, man. The games that everything goes against you mm. from the first mm. minute to the last in extra time you take that yeah. one opportunity that you had thirty thousand before mm. but you don't stop that is the most important thing and that for me it's a, a a team that wins the league is a team that shows the most art 
and that's yep. been Liverpool this so far this season. I feel but, for now. But you see, but like but you see also everybody can dip. That form, that dipping form, it's inevitable. Just yeah. how long it's going to last. Remember, I was got our manager sack. City must not mm. get their dip. Liverpool must not get their dip. I feel that Charles is in the top right now because of the injuries to Chelwell, of the injuries to Kante. Days must still come. I, I, mm. I, you can probably clip me from for in 2022, May, it never came, and he's win the league by 40 points, Mapus. But <laughs> I feel that that dip is still coming. But these are the games that you're not supposed to win, and you're winning it. Marks of yeah. a true champion. Yeah. No, but then our dip was last season. Our dip was last season, baby. Yeah, the whole defense. That is our dip. We don't, that, we're not going to dip now again, my bro. You don't have one dip for five seasons. You have a dip per season, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Last season we dip, my bro. <laughs> dip and dip, bro. <laughs> oh my days. But let's address the elephant in the room. Um, Pascal, you are in a heated debate in the week. Um, on Monday, actually, what a blue Monday for us. I want to bring you actually into it. And I know we didn't mean any mal- malice in it. We all I still didn't answer his question. Yeah, you still didn't. <laughs> so that's why I, um, I want Pascal yeah. to voice it again. <laughs> Isn't that um, why Jigga left the group, no? Uh, Jigga didn't... <laughs> no, 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 you know what? Jigga's my guy. Jigga! Jigga's my guy. No, Jigga didn't. Don't worry. Let's go make this guy for you, Maka. Let's go. Let's go. There's one question when emotions are running high on a Monday, you know. But Jigga didn't leave the group because of that. Don't worry. And don't worry, Pascal. Jigga didn't leave the group because of you. I know, Jigga. But I Pascal, Pascal, again, I want to ask. You asked a very good question in the week. And I want to ask it to you again. I want to extend that question to Beaster and to Isidore because I can answer the own, my own question as well. I think this AFCON is going to benefit us. Me personally, I would send Pepe, I'd send Aubameyang, I'd send Pate, I'd send El Nene, I'd send them all fucking now already. Just fuck off and stay there even if you want to. Don't even come back. But again, that's a story for another day. Pascal, again, AFCON coming up. Out of our teams, who do you think this FCON is going to benefit the most? Bearing in mind that you are losing your goalkeeper as well. Bearing in mind that in the players at Liverpool are going to lose, but they're only going to lose that for two games. Who do you think yeah. this FCON is going to benefit and who is it going to hurt the most? Um, I think it benefits, um, I think City. They're searching because they're only going to lose who? Riyad Mahrez, isn't it? Only? Yeah. 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 One of the, I'm talking about like, yeah, just Maris, just yeah, just Maris. Yeah. So I think yeah. it might benefit yeah. them because even though Maris is a big part, of obviously, what they do, but like mm-hmm. you look at the form they're in and the players that they can bring in to fill in that role for as long as it's gone for, they don't lose much. You know what I mean in terms of the balance of their team. And so I think out of the top four um, or top five, whatever you want to make it. I think Man City benefits the most because, like you said, we're gonna we're, we're gonna lose Mendy, and that's a huge, huge loss, especially for for that Afcon. You know what I mean? Especially with the form that he's in. Um, and 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 obviously, I know Beast and them are gonna lose at least um, the two and front. And yeah. yeah, and Kater, Salah, too, right? and Kater. yeah, and Kater, 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 Kater. Kater. Salah. You know, um, I'm not so much worried about Keita because, I, look, I, I think you guys have got enough weapons to fill in that midfield. But the front two are undeniable. I yeah. mean, like, let's just be honest. Those guys, like, when you're preparing for Liverpool, you're looking at that front three immediately. I mean, that's like the, that, the, the probably the most devastating front three in Europe. You know what I mean? If not if not the most, then that is the second most. You know what I mean? So, in the... <laughs> yeah, big ass jigger. Um... So yeah, like in in the end, I think I think Man City will benefit. Uh, who it hurts the most, I think that's up for debate. Because like I'm saying, um, you look at us, we're gonna miss a world class key, a keeper that I can easily make was um, this the keeper of the season up until you know this point. You know what I mean? So um, I think that's a big loss for us. Um, yeah. So I mean, I I don't know about you. United don't lose anybody, do they? Anybody relevant? No. Yeah, only Eric Bailly and Amad Diallo. 
we played Berlin yeah. last night, but I don't think yeah, I don't think that makes any difference so to you guys. I think we benefit the most United does. And I think that's why we don't like to sign African players, especially prominent ones, because of the so just racist man. Don't talk cuck. <laughs> 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 Good no, but that's coming from the Fergie guys already, um, Benny, if I'm not mistaken. That's coming from Fergie already. Yeah. 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 Anyways, it's, it's, yeah, so it's it's not, like Jemba, Jemba. David D, in Bishop my opinion. Uh, in my opinion, it'll be Man City that benefits. Hmm. Oh. enough. Peace. Overall. Overall. Overall, City benefits. Overall. I think... For the for the for the teams taking a loss or the teams that's gonna suffer the most, it's a debate between like like Pascal mentioned earlier, you can lose six players, you can lose one. That one that the one team loses, how influential is he in your team? Yeah. Like if we yeah. lose Van Dyke or yeah. United ah. loses six players, we would rather lose six players than to lose Van Dyke. And like you're saying, yeah. the form that men is in is gonna be a knock. So I see him yeah. bringing Kepa in now before the FCON on the odd game just to get yeah. him, give him game Kepa time. I'm surprised night. he didn't play in the Champions League. Because, he did. Kepa oh, played he did. in Champions League. He did play he did. last night, yeah. Yeah, yeah but that's a so second string. That is what the plan is to mm. get him in, second to string. give him game time. Like Davy said, Arsenal loses four players. Partey, Aubameyang, Pepe, El Nini. That is big players on paper. If you see them on paper, if you didn't look at Arsenal's form, that's a big knock. Leicester lose Amati in Didi, Annie and Nacho. That is big place for Leicester. They're not in the title race, but still, yeah. people that's playing yeah. them is going to be from that. It will be, that is it will be, bro. It will be relegation. Yeah, relegation. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you keep bringing up Everton? I... Why do you keep bringing up Everton? What is your issue? Actually, <laughs> 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 What is your issue with? <laughs> uh, I feel we will survive without Mane and Salah front because if. We, we see that the other players scoring also. Firmino was scoring, he'll be back in January. Jota scoring, he's going to be there in January if nothing happens to him. Bobby Elliott is training now full on, so he's busy coming back. Curtis Jones will be there, Origi is there. So Liverpool can score goals, whether it's Salah, Mane or not. The only worrying factor was playing last night a whole, or Tuesday night, a whole complete different eleven, but keeping that. Yeah. I don't know if his plan was to yeah. get them injured. So they can't go to the F. How was it why play on that? Why, why play Salai in that dead rubber? Mm. With all but remember the Salai money. That's the only two. Remember, I, I think yeah. he wanted him to get injured and miss the F. Con. <laughs> but please don't remember the <laughs> same happened to last season also. January. The same happened to Jota also last season. He got injured in that in that um, non game also that low also qualified for Champions League. And he got injured in that game. And it was out but for it's what? fine because you're gonna play your Jota. Like you're gonna months. play your Jota in that game. Yeah, two months. I would rather yeah, take enough. Jota injured than to take Bobby Salah or Mane injured. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. the team is gonna, well, that is gonna knock the most. Well, the team is gonna benefit yeah, the most from here is United. I don't think in a way of them playing opponents that's losing players, but they can make up ground to teams that could potentially lose points. By losing players, the Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Leicester, because of them dropping points, United can make up some points. But we don't uh, talk about it like United see... anymore. It's not United, United anymore. Is top four. It's, it's, it's United in the top four. Max is right to say they're in the top four. It's Real Madrid, gents. It's Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Not United Real anymore. Madrid. Don't get your shit don't twisted. Shit. It's Real Madrid. <laughs> I'm coming on to that. Until he loses on Saturday next week's spot, then it's again we united. It's with the respect. It's with the respect. <laughs> respect that we deserve. I see that. I see that Aeroplane <laughs> is fueling up there with a banner. Help out, help out. You know what? You brought it in brilliantly. Um, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. You know what, Benny? I've seen you quiet for so many weeks and suffering and all that stuff. How are you feeling, my man? I can't even okay. imagine. I wish I can have, I wish I can have the feeling that you're feeling, and now you're already telling the wife to top you up as well. Look, people, the podcast <laughs> talking about half that? an hour, twenty minutes late, and it's probably gonna continue on for about another hour and a half. But I will clip this video tomorrow, so otherwise there will be snippets about it. But let's touch on that before we even move on to the Champions League roundup because I wanna wrap that up as well. But look. What have you made of Ralph's Reds thus far? I know it's too too soon to call, but yeah, what has stood out for you? And which players 
Do you see thriving under him? Because Fred, Fred got David is already firing, my bro. Fredinho. Fredinho. But I, I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I'm extremely, extremely excited. And two swallows don't make a summer. So it's two games in. What he did yesterday was ballsy. I respect the braveness of the man because he could have easily gotten a massive hiding loss that playing the team that he played without Mata, Matic and Heaton. The average age of that team would have been, what, 12? And they had a combined, all of the combined playing time that's less than a tea break. So against a team that should have, that had to win in order to make the Europa. And the small amount of time that he's got with these players, the way we played on Saturday against Crystal Palace, it was brilliant. From I've never seen a United play like that. Pre post Fergie. I've never seen us defend and press that way that the way that we did. Yes, it takes away from creativity. Yes, it's not that much of a change in formation. The 4-2-2 is basically a 4-2-3-1. Just with one playing a bit more forward or one more a bit more back. And your wing backs make a lot more, they, they evolve, involved a lot more in the attack. But it's not that much of a difference to how it was under Ole, but the performance, it's come full circle. We had to beat Crystal Palace by a lot more than we did on Saturday. And we had to beat young boys by a lot more than what we did. Okay, we drew them, but we had the chances that we had and that we created in that game were those kids, which I think is with the team that Ralph would like to play with every week. Knowing from Leipzig, knowing from Salzburg, he loves his youngsters and he likes buying players, signing players that is in the first big contract and not their last, because that's what United have been doing for quite some time. And hopefully that will change with him in charge now. But early days, and I'm extremely impressed with just the way he conducts himself, especially the way he speaks. I mean, his, his post-interview, his post-match interview last night was, was refreshing because we haven't had that for a while. He was completely honest in exactly where United went wrong. And as long as you can see that, with Soksha, we felt like, does this man see this players catching on cut? Because mm. he never outs them. Yes, I understand that mm. you always back your players, but sometimes they need to hear that, James, you've been cut. Mm. Not the, 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 the excuses that he's been giving every bad performance of United. Mm. We're not going to get that with Ralph. And... With Ralph, I but only can't bad Ralph because you played him next week. Exactly. And that's not going to be the case with Ralph. Remember, Ralph is not here for mm. the next 10 years. He's going to play mm. players that needs to be played. He's going to, be pl he's going to play yeah. players that is on form, not players that is there on the reputation. So I'm happy with what I've seen so far. I'm happy with, with, with what he's trying to do with the team after one training session of 45 minutes. I mean, we've beat... We've, in the first half of Crystal Palace, 11 times we stole the ball in their half. That's not been done since Fergie, James. Mm. His first game. I, wanna, I just want to comment on what Jigger is saying there. I don't agree with that because Matic gave that ball away like seven times. Yo, he, he was, was the bro last night's game. Yo, he was Yo, Matic lost that. the ball. We didn't have... And, 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 not... and very, very weird that he would make 11 changes. 11 changes, play a center defensive mid who is 78 center back against a young young boys team and not have a center back on the bench for him where you have by yeah, you have because... Lindelof and you have Maguire I didn't understand that Very weird but see, then, it's okay for Matis to lose the ball in his in his correct role if he plays holding midfield or in the mid and he loses the ball it's not as bad as what it is when you lose the ball at center back and that's what he was doing because he likes to give it cutthroat passes like through the gaps yeah I did and it work, work. like a tip for our first goal because that was a ball a cutthroat yeah. pass through from Matic and yeah. oh it doesn't and you're on the back foot and you concede done sorry is it but, but you see Benny that was the same thing with Liverpool in their Champions League also when I saw the lineup also I was like what the hell but you see you, you must still keep the pace like they say like, like in the back Van Dijk wasn't Fine. there that's fine, and also, but you must remember it's different for Liverpool, is it all? Because yeah. Klopp knows exactly who is who. He knows everything. Mm -hmm. Whereas Rennick exactly. did that last night, it was a sacrifice last yeah. night. 
to see how these players are going to perform. And there was quite a few notable performances from our youngsters. I mean, Amat Diallo was brilliant last night. He's, he reminds me of Cristiano when he comes. When, when he came to United, I mean, they're taking on players mm. and driving from the halfway line to burn in their box. Right, his decision-making was a bit off last night, but that comes with time, that comes with experience. He will still yeah. build up and become physical. I like what I'm seeing from Mason Greenwood. I like what I'm seeing from Tony van der Beek, even though the goal was through him last night. I love this overall performance last night. Coming from deep, playing basically box to box, brilliantly last mm. night. And you can see who's going to benefit and who's going to lose out. The lazy motherfuckers is going to lose out. Your Jaden Sancho, your Donny Van Der Peaks, your Mason Greenwoods, hopefully, fingers crossed, your Marcus Rashford, your... Our can't wait till Axel Twanzebe comes back to play under this guy. We can already see the difference in Diego Dallo. We can already see the difference mm, in Alex Very good point. It's, there's, there's, there's progress in the first two games. I can remember when Saoksha came in, we won our first game 5-0 against Cardiff. We went on a run of 12 games unbeaten, beat PSG away from home to go through to the next round. So mm. I can remember this, and but I don't want to do to be too pessimistic because yeah. Ralph Ragnick's come with the experience and the know-how, which we never had under Ole at all. And I'm excited, James. I just hope that after the six months, it does enough for him to stay on because what he's doing with the team is what I want. What I saw on Saturday, you can ask my wife, but I was telling her, maybe we look like fucking Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, was no, exactly Saturday. Sunday, so you even think I said Sunday. 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 <laughs> Sunday, sorry, Sunday. Sunday. Yes, my bad, Sunday. Sunday. We, we played that first half, we, we, we pressed like Liverpool, that high press was brilliant. Even like, we I can see this is a fucking manager that knows his shit. He plays mm. Bruno Sancho in Rashford. When they press from the front, Ronaldo drops deep so that our youngsters can press from the front and he does the secondary press. I saw that from the first minute. That tells you know what? That Bruno knows what he's doing. Sorry, and can I Benny, come that's what we said. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, B, ahead, sorry, B. Sorry, you can go. But you know what was no, telling me? Ahead, I've, never, I've, 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 ne I've never seen, I've never seen the guy so far up the pitch in my life. Maguire and Lindelof was in there off for like 70 minutes of that 90, my friend. We have never had control like that. I don't even remember in the last 10 years of Fergie did we have control of a football match the way we did, especially in that first half against Crystal Palace. And that is exactly my point that I'm coming into now, Jigger. Well done, bro. Fitness is going to be extremely important. He's going to build, he's going to need to build, which you can't do mid-season. Mm. You cannot do this. Brother man needs a pre-season. To get the team in the condition that he wants, it takes years. It took Klopp how long to get mm. Liverpool playing the way he wants him to play? Three, four years. That, that's what to get I, him to the I mentioned that in a, in, a, in a previous pod we, before Ralph came in, where we said we all knew he's going to come with a pressing game. But yeah. the 11 that he's going to use to get it right, yeah. that's the important part. Like, you yeah. can but get the perfect for, 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 He's perfect for choice, b stuff. He's perfect for choice. He, he is, can pick his he perfect is, 11 like out now, of the players that we have there now. But those are not players that necessarily played under Ole. Those are not players mm. that is informed. That is not players that is confident. That is not players that is fiery. Mm. But if you look at the names on paper, on paper, mm. Ralph can't pick his, his ultimate 11 there. He can. And exactly. that's why Klopp is at that level now with Liverpool where he can play the pressing game regardless of which 11 plays. Because they are yeah. all on the same level. That's incredible. Like, 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 like said, that's why I'm not... In the brains, in the veins, in the heart, in the soul in the body that's how you play whether you're under seven in the club yeah to whether you 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 tom eaton that is 72 it's the same thing <laughs> that's where club is now with liverpool and 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 that is where united i feel for me liverpool the way they do things as a business and as a club and whether it's and okay i won't say recruiting because that has been lacking for the past two windows i feel mm, but it's the yeah. benchmark it's the benchmark for how clubs should be run and you can see that that is happening at Chelsea as well. And it's, mm. I, I hope it's going to happen at United because that is the German influence. You can see the same thing with Leipzig. You can see the same thing with Bayern Munich. It's, it's mm. the proper way to do shit. I don't know who the fuck David is going to take his problem to be Jans Lehmann. <laughs> but yeah. What is your issue with me tonight? 
<laughs> you just need a German, bro. What is the you issue with me? <laughs> you need a German. I'm just saying, that's my advice. You saw how it broke down in the Get beginning of the show. Get yourself a fucking German. Get yourself a German. <laughs> go ahead, Pascal, go ahead. <laughs> and Benny leads me perfectly into the question that I wanted to ask. Like you I see. always do, Pascal. Like I always I, do. It, you know? So we're at that point where a new manager is in, you know, um, a fresh voice in the locker room. Um, he has, look, obviously he's, like even Klopp said, I think in an interview a couple of days ago, after it was confirmed that uh, you guys would be getting this dude, and he was like, now nah, United's going to be well organized and things like that. We get all of that. Um, but we all know that that's not the first, you know, big time, um, big name manager that you guys, are, you guys have had since Fergie left, I'm talking about, right? And so my point, my question to you is, with the new manager in place, um, number one, the first question is, what are your expectations now, this season? Number two, how confident are you, right, that this bunch of players, right, the ones that you guys have now, because I also believe that, you know, for a coach to succeed, it's not just about inheriting people, you know what I mean? It's also about bringing your own people through, your own players that fit a certain way that you play. So my, my second question to you is, with this group of players that he's inheriting, I know it's only for like half of the season or whatever that he's going to be there for, um, unless there's some update that I don't know about at United, you know what I mean, in terms of the coaching situation. So my second part of the question is, how confident are you that these dudes that you guys have now, that, that, that it's, it's a coaching issue and not a united internal issue? You know what I mean? With the way you guys were performing. Time will tell, Pesco. The, just to come back to, for a better background, is he signs the contract to be the manager for six months with a two-year okay. consultancy contract after that. Whether everything right. goes according to plan, you can come out and say, give me next season with the team as well. Our progress has been well. I want to continue. Gladly, if that is the case. With okay. him. With him. I feel... Roy Keane said it well when he said Lepers don't change their spots. This is the same players that threw Mourinho under the bus. He said it. This yeah. is the same players that is going to throw Ole under the bus. They did mm, that. Yeah. They did that. Gents, I was very clear when I told you guys, these players are playing Ole out. And mm, yeah, you did, yeah. I remember I if, can pick up how many videos where you see that already. Yes. And, and, and if they just decide that, no, fuck it off, Ragnik, he's too strict. I'm not going to run like this for him because I never ran like this for Ole. They can, but I don't think that the, the board, the fans, will accept it anymore. The same like it happened with Chelsea when Mourinho left, and they got rid of yeah. quite a number of players that they felt yeah. were poison in the dressing room. Absolutely. I feel yeah. that at United, at United, those poison, poisonous characters are said in the media, but that is not necessarily the poisonous characters within the dressing room, because we all know who the scapegoats are, Fred Pogba, which I don't think is really the case. But I hope that the respect that Ralph comes with and the respect that he demands as, as a very experienced manager, that, that he won't give those players the opportunity to do that to him. And if it is so, then I would rather get rid of the players than the manager right now because this is a guy that we, we took because we're looking at the longer term now and not just the short term and the medium term because this is a guy that puts brilliant structures in place and we want that for our team because I feel that's where we've been lacking for a while. Our signings have been good. I, we have a, a strong squad of players. We have a world-class squad of players, I feel. And I was excited at the beginning of the season. Gents, you know, I thought you were up there to challenge for the league. It went mm. pay the fuck shit and dollar. But <laughs> the tools are there. <laughs> it's like a proper you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, so that's but how Vinny, I feel. If that answers your question. Yeah, uh, just, just, just the one. Well, just the one question, for Benny, uh, the expectations for United like this season. Is it top four, winning the league? I don't even know. You don't know that question. Top four, top four minimum. Top four minimum. Top four minimum. I think the league, by now, if I'm, if I'm realistic, the league is out of our hands all the way. And it's, it's basically a top three race between. Chelsea, City and Liverpool, which could change because we are only in January right now, James. And we're not even in January, and there's the entire six months to go. So, 
We're not halfway through the, 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 the league yet, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. I don't think we are. I don't yeah. think we're not. Are we halfway through? No. Not no. no. So maybe not yet. Yet. Not yet. Not no, sorry, 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 Pascal, mm. to answer you. Not going to win the league. Top five, be happy with top four minimum. A cup run, perhaps, maybe a final, a trophy would be well. We only have the FA Cup. I do not expect us to win the Champions League, but shit has been done before. You guys are examples. Yeah. So nothing yeah. is impossible. It's the door. Okay. Ben, well, um, what is your thoughts on Pogba and the, the Real? If when he comes back from injury? That's even well, if he's okay. going to play a game. That's even because apparently mm. Pogba is injured up until January. The man is without contract, out of contract. So if you're going mm. to sell him to make an odd out of him, you need to sell him in January. So poor Pogba could have hypothetically played his last game for Manchester United. But I see him mm. bossing in this formation. Mm. Especially that number that two number 10 roles in the 4-2-2. Two, two, two. Yeah. Pogba will boss. We will boss in that. Especially on the left hand side, right behind the two strikers, with our wing backs bombing forward, Popo would be brilliant there. Yeah. So, and it's it's embarrassment of riches. I want Popo to fuck off. To be honest, <laughs> I want him to fuck off. I feel that he he's more of a of a fucking hindrance than he's a benefit for the club, for the squad, for the fan, for fucking. Any who's, sooners. who's been saying that on this pod for? Almost a year for now. For how many years? For, for longer, longer than that, my man. You, how that. many years has my guy been saying it? You? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah. let's move on. Um, people, again, like I said, this pod is going to last longer than usual because I had some technical difficulties. But just bear with us. Grab a beer. Start do whatever. Tomorrow's rest. weekend. Let's just have a beer. Have some chat with the fellas. And love for the love. But you have a Champions League roundup, guys. Um, I have a surprise entry tonight. Um, he's been waiting very, very patiently. He messaged me at the last minute and said, you know what, I need to get this off my chest. Um, he's Don't even more special than I am. Believe it or not, and it's not Jigger. He's going to come in like tie. Jigger. It's Ty. No, it's it's not Ty. It's not Ty. It is another Barcelona <laughs> player. No, Ahmad, my brother. How are you doing? No. I am not. Good. Are you gonna melt down also? Because so then I must go get good. another beer. Are you gonna melt down, bro? Warn us before the time. Those men let I'm us gonna... melt down for two hours. I'm not gonna melt down like him. Okay, but okay. I am I, I'm not good. I'm not good. <laughs> I am not good. This is the first time Barcelona has done this bad in fucking 17 seasons, my bro. 21, of... my man. What 21 years. But, but I'm trying to give myself hope by saying 17. I know it's 21. <laughs> Probably half of you guys don't even ever remember Barcelona not being in the Champions League. I don't think I can remember. I've, I've watched Barcelona United. since I was five, five years old. I can't remember Barcelona not being in the Champions League. What Javi is doing, I see it, but it's long before. I would rather wanted to be in the Champions League, get knocked out in the round of 16, and then still hope to qualify in the league because I don't even see myself winning the league. I, at best performance, see myself ending fourth. But because I know for a fact this is happening now, and I said it in the previous pod when I made my debut if Barcelona gets into the Europa League, they're not even going to win that. They are not even going to win Europa League, and I'm going to guarantee you that this is a big, big, big problem. But they're the big team, they're the favorites in the Europa, they mean Dortmund. And the mighty, oh, West mighty West Ham. Mm. West Ham, Benny. Uh, the mighty, and mighty West Ham. <laughs> I don't... The way my team look, I don't even... If I see West Ham, I get scared. <laughs> oh, no, it's... No, I, it's so easy. Ham, don't be cut, bro. It's, 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 so it's, it's bad. We can keep the ball for, 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 for 70 <laughs> minutes of the game and not score one goal. Then we lose the position and what happens? Everybody watches Araujo is the only one trying to defend. Pika, he don't know where his experience went. It went out the window. Busquets suddenly decides he's, he's old now. He finally decides he's old. He's not going to do any defensive work. He's just going to stand. So, I don't know what's happening. You can't play a back three if you if you Barcelona. Exactly. Out Barcelona. I'm, 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 I don't know where. I see, I, see the, I see the vision. I see what Javi is trying to do. But... I have if no hope. If you tell this man here, yeah, he needs to trust the process. Tell this <laughs> brewery. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you wouldn't have been here. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
What is the issue with music video releases? I just say, I just say, explain to the yeah. about the process the and video. what you must do. <laughs> Look, the prices I trust, but 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 look, I, I see what Javi is doing, and I'm 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 all for it. But you are still sitting with us uh, with the same shitty players that you that you sitting. Those lighties, I don't what he's trying on the right wing. I don't know. He's bringing in lighties that I've never heard of. To be all honest, I know they come from Malaysia. Yeah. But James, for the first time, in Belish, and he's been playing good. <laughs> I've actually been impressed. That's why they bring some. Cut. No, he's actually been putting like, a shock. They don't know who's this bro. They don't know who's this bro. He's trying the entire game plan out of whack. He's fucking everything up. Look, so they don't know who I want to ask a question though. I like, am I the only one sitting around us now thinking that Barcelona actually did well for a certain period of the game until that first goal? Only the first 20 minutes for me. That's yeah. That's that's the first 20 minutes. Barca, I was sitting with hope. I'm like, yo, we're going to get a one win at least. Then the breakdown started happening because then we started losing the ball. Then they got out pass. When the first goal came, that's what happened since last season as well. When we one goal behind, we don't know how to come back. We don't know. For that, so Zavis But bro, remember who you're playing against. Yeah, Bayern. Remember, yes, I'm remember playing, who you're playing I'm against. I'm playing against Bayern. Bayern. I know I'm playing against Bayern, but still. That first 20 minutes give, gave me hope because, I mean, I made one of the most historic comebacks against PSG a couple of seasons ago. So, for me, when I looked at that 20 minutes, I was like, okay, this is going to be interesting. Barca looks like they're actually going to play soccer. And then 25, 30, 40 minutes, when that first goal came, the faces, the, the look on the faces of those players, PK, Busquets, the veteran mm. players that's mm, supposed to have it. And the whole faces was see. like, they were like, I don't know what to do anymore. Mm. You are the guys that's supposed it. to lead Davi, that's supposed to lead Frankie, that's supposed to uplift the spirits of the players to tell them, guys, we've been in this situation before many times, we know what to do. They they gave up already after not even the first half being over. So how can you feel that you stand a chance into winning anything if your veteran players are not even taking the lead? <laughs> That's uh, why I always say PK's time, PK's time is, is, is clear. I, he wants to play striker, then he wants to play defender. I don't know what he wants to do, but he needs to go. PK's time is for play. Araujo, Araujo is brilliant. I feel Araujo yeah, is uh, look. Trying, trying something. Summed it up perfectly. Um, Beast, um, Isidro, Pascal, yep. Benny, you guys are all still in the Champions League. Look, I mean, it's for me, this is like this is uncharted territory to see Barcelona in the in the Euro Beast. What have you made of it? I we all know Barca was poor domestically from the start of the season, end of last season already. We saw under Kuman that they were struggling. So me personally, I didn't expect okay, I didn't expect them not to make it out of the group, but I didn't expect them to win six out of six. But exactly. yeah. it was a shocker. If the group was a bit bigger, if the group was a bit stronger, I would have understood. Let's say they were with Dortmund, Liverpool, like four big teams, the group of death, I would have understood, okay, Barca, you're going to struggle to get out. I expected them to just get out of the group and then get the buy-in or one of the big guns in the last 16 and then get the knock. But mm -hmm. I also think that Xavi could have come, he could have came earlier to the to the squad. I don't think they that they should have waited for Kuman to start off the season. Before Start Koeman. off the season and then... Before Kuman. Sorry, Vista. Mm. Before Kuman, when Messi yeah, was still there, Messi if... was like, bring that man in. Mm. Now you see that, yeah, I don't agree. I don't agree with that. Yeah, I don't but... agree with that. Now. Go ahead, Vista. What? Go ahead. <laughs> so, for, for Barca, it's more than just Savi coming in, Kuman going out. Remember the knock they got when they couldn't register players. They couldn't give Messi mm. the contract. They couldn't... That all led to this. So now it's almost like damage control. This is the place we must exactly. make deal with. This is all we have. Exactly. We can't, with this they they is don't have that luxury that well. we know Boston to have. Boston mm. At the end of the day, it boils down stuff. to the, 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 the perception that Pep Guardiola and Zidane gave clubs thinking that players, former players that played two, two, two seasons ago can come up and manage a team by the size of Barcelona, Manchester United, 
Arsenal, Fact. Juventus, Chelsea. Fact. We've seen this with Lampard. We've seen this with Ole. We've seen this with Perlo. We've seen this with Arteta. We're going to see this with Xavi. I understand the sentiments behind it. I understand where Ahmed is coming from because I felt the exact same way when Ole was given that permanent deal. Because when he came in as interim, we all knew interim, but in the run was 12 games, brilliant football, won everything, beat PSG away from home, give this man, we were all Rio Ferdinand. But in the mm. long term, it's not going to be in the particular club. Mm. It's not. You need that elite manager. You need that elite I don't. Manager. I don't see Zabi not gonna get doing that. that. But the man played for who is he managing mm. our fucking side? Do you can you tell me one outside player? Can you tell <laughs> me one <laughs> player in the fucking league? Also, no, who did who is it done? Can, can, who is it done? Can, who is it done? Managed before Real Madrid. Real Madrid B. Wow. Real Madrid B. Yeah, yeah but that, that's what I'm saying. I I I hear what you're saying. When Barcelona B. Legends, Madrid. legends come to the club. Legends is there. They come. They were good players. Now they want to be coaches. But I wouldn't say Xavi is there as another Ole, another Arteta, another. Another Arteta. Oh, the, the, the way he was about to raise it up as changed, well. <laughs> The way he changed Barcelona style from Kuman to him, it's already a big oh, yeah. difference. And it's not a yeah. difference like you can either get like Ole. Ole got the twelve game run, which is that is too much. You, you can't get so much because then your head swells and now you think what you're doing is perfect. Whereas Zabi, you he's happy with being out there. Yeah. I think if they lose out of the Europa, he'll be happy because he needs to rebuild. And the best yeah. way to do that is focus on domestics. Leave European football now because you, you don't have the squad or the players Tough to compete in Europe and focus domestically. Gerard is going about things the right? perfect way. Jared is going about yeah, exactly. Right. That's what I'm saying. He I'm about to come out of the Rangers. He won a league there. He's now by Aston Villa. If he does well yeah. with him, he should. Doesn't mean he must go to to Liverpool. Now you take on another club no. and you try to bring them and you build your experience. You yeah. elite manager will come from experience. You're not born one. You're not born no, one. Fair, Ralph Rennick has 40 enough. years of management experience. 40 fucking years. What does Xavier have? Two, three seasons. Mm. It's, it's a difference, James. It's a difference. Yes, he came mm-hmm. under brilliant managers. He's all right. But every manager has his own path. And right now, Zabi still figuring his shit out as a manager. Mm. And to be yeah. given the full reign of Barcelona. We've seen it happen. We've seen the, the destruction it can cause. Look at Davis meltdown. Perfect fucking example. Look at me the past two months. What is your Just fucking issue with real, me? <laughs> I mentioned me as Thank well now, my friend. I now you you first, man. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I, know what I, mean. I, under, I understand. Big really. clubs must need big I know what managers. You mean. I know what you mean, though. Big personalities. Dan. Dan. Look, I'm not saying I Dan don't have faith coaching in players that he played with. He's coaching players that he played with. He signed Daniel Alves yeah. for free to play with him. To play for him who played with him. Ronaldo play mm. with Ole. <laughs> it's not always but a bad thing. It's not always it's not, a bad yeah. thing. Yeah, it's not a I bad thing. I agree with you. You're never going to get that you, respect. You can't, you can't just, Ronaldo but, never you can't Ole just go with him to it and nah, say because of play. what happened there and because of what happened nah. there, now it's going to be the same. I don't agree with that, with the fact that nah, you played with the yeah. manager. I fully disagree with that. My thing is if Xavi comes in there and he does as he done, what is everyone else going to say? Now you have exactly. 20 managers to, 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 to run to and say, this is what the club legends did. Look at this 20. We only have it done to run to on this side to say, look what he did. Coach, no one mm. came here, won Champions League three times in a row. That's not for anyone to yeah. do. It's you as a mm. person. If you come into the cloak room as Zabi and you stamp your authority, players is going to listen. If they, they don't want to listen, let them go. Use your La Masia players. Bring them all up. Play. Because you're exactly. going to play my style. And if we win the league in two years' time, then I did my job. So, I Zavi know Zavi has that five over games that yet. He has that. Zavi didn't even manage five games yet. Yeah. Yes, he didn't even manage five games yet. That's why I said, I'm not saying I don't trust him. Look, I trust Zavi's process. Like I said in the previous part, I see where he's going. It's just, I did, it's still a shocker for me. Even though I said I, last time we had a, I had a 1% chance of hope that we're going to do something against Bayern. I knew where we were going to go. 
But the reality kicks in afterwards. For anyone to see that Barcelona is not even in the round of 16, it's a shocker. So, the, but I'm not saying I don't trust Xavi. I believe Xavi is going great links with the club. I see his vision. I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to win a tiki taka. I, I'm all for signing Dani Alves. Not because the Brat played with me, because the Brat can see my vision that I'm trying to bring into the club. That's the reason why he has Dani Alves. Yeah, and he should do the same with, with PK if he's not going to let them go. And he should do the same with Busquets because those are players he played with. They played under Pep. And they Longley, played under Longley must go. Lewis and Greg. Longley, I don't even want to bring him into the conversation. Longley should have gone in Pep was there. They must have released him on free transfer. They must, they must let him throw them you know, away. Truly we, pay salary. we don't have money. We don't have money. But we can pay for cut players like that. Uh. We don't have but money. We want to fucking buy for the money. We can pay yeah. Negro salary and good pay. We still owe you guys money. Bista and 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 yeah. Isidro, I'm in big debt with you guys. It's called the Nobel Prize. Anyways, let's move on to another guy. Um, I'm gonna come on to the big dogs that's surviving on the top of the table. But Master P, talking about last night, Zenit, my guy, everything in control. Three, three. I'm gonna jump out and let the guys continue with you. I need to pitch my food at the front door. Um, but Master P, give me your thoughts on last night. I feel like that was a really. I understand that um, you have to rest a couple of players and you have injuries, but. I mean, top of the group, my guy. Talk to me. Yeah, I mean, that was a very... It was a shock or a disappointment, to be honest. Uh, because, like you're saying, um, quite a, a few times in the game, we're in, we're in control. And that's a game that you should win. You know what I mean? I don't care whether it's played at home oh, or away from home. You know, but um, in the end, that was a, it, it's a disappointing result. And it just caps off what was a difficult and a disappointing week. You know what I mean? For Chelsea. Um but nonetheless, look, at the end of the day, I'm just glad to go through to the next round. And then you can deal with matters from that point of view. I'm not one to get all fussy about having a perfect record like, you know, beast and them. Um, I don't really worry about that stuff because every time we've won that Champions League, we're far from perfect. You know what I mean? So I'll take my chances in the knockout phase. Uh, anything can happen. Like Benny said, look, it's a cup competition. Anything can happen uh, on, the, on, the, on any given team. And uh, yeah, man. I mean, we roll with the punches, but otherwise, otherwise, I'd have loved to to have finished top of the of, of the of the group and avoid the likes of PSG and all of these other. You know, um, I think it's Man City. Who finished? And who finished on top of that group? Was City it Man City? Yeah, City finished top. Yes. Yeah. Well, you wanna obviously City, you wanna City, avoid the likes. City finished. Top I don't. I think. I don't think you guys will get. You guys won't even. throw. You, you guys won't throw think, English teams in the round of 16. No, uh, you will be... You can't, you can't actually. Yeah, you can't you throw, can only throw uh, in the last eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, only throw each other in the last eight, yeah. So but, you but like ben, like, Yeah, but like what Benny said, uh, obviously it would have been good to finish top of the group um, just to avoid the minor glitches because you don't know how long the dip is going to go on for. You know what I mean? But like at the, at the end of the day, I'm just glad to have qualified for the next round, man. Um... It gives us a chance to fight another day and defend this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look, that is the same enough. thing. That's, a, that's the same thing with Liverpool also. When I saw the lineup against um, AC, because I've also heard now as well that's the first time that if, um, Klopp went there also. The first time actually, and with that team that he put out, he won two one. And look, yeah, for me also now to go into the second round is. It's an open open table now, Miguel. Doesn't matter who you get. Yeah. It's, a, it's how yeah. you're gonna go up now to the Champions League final and win the final. That is it. Bayern Munich and Liverpool is favourite. Nah, yeah. don't, 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 don't count Real Madrid. Don't count Real Madrid. Don't count Real Madrid. No, no, no. no. I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not, I wouldn't even. Interesting I wouldn't even mind if United drew Real Madrid. To be honest, I don't. David, mind the, only, the only teams that I'm wary about is is Bayern Munich and yeah. probably Liverpool. To be honest, okay, yeah. maybe PSG. You never know, but like, no, I'm not worried. PSG. I'm not worried about them. PSG, I'm not worried about them. Liverpool, City, Bayern Munich. I'm not even worried yeah. about Chelsea. Liverpool, Bayern Munich, City. That is the team that I would like to. Go yeah. Not get. Up until the semi-final. 
I possible. can get where Pascal is coming from because they beat Real Madrid convincingly last season. Yeah, so, I'm not worried like, about Real Madrid at all. Yeah, but there's no salt. There's no salt on my own wounds, guys. Just got a notification from Barcelona. Jordi Alba and Memphis also picked up an injury. This is the Barcelona official app news. Jesus How Christ worse can this get out of yeah, when it rains? I know Jordi Alba lumped off. No, Jordi Alba went off in the first half. He lumped off. He lumped off. I mean, off, yeah. I mean that is how I felt last season when my whole backline was like at the group. <laughs> okay. Yes, now you understand. Yeah, no. I don't have players that can finish. I don't have Fatih. I don't, I don't have Pedri who's won the Golden Boy. Congratulations to him. I don't have P3. Fully deserve it. I don't have. Yeah. I don't have Memphis now, which has yeah, a 50 chance. Look, the young man step up to the plate, bro. Martin Bradford yeah. coming in there in if, the 90th minute. You wanna get this guy started, man? <laughs> Look, the young. Now the only, the only fucking player we have is Luke, fucking the young. Really? I would and rather continue. take an Arsenal striker. Sorry, Dave. I'll rather yeah. You can take Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Murphy, you can take Peter Odom <laughs> Winger, you can take Laka Threat, any one of them are available for you. I would rather anyway, take but, them, they take Luke. But Bay. let's be fair, <laughs> let's be fair, um, before I come on to you, Benny B, and before we get into prediction, because I don't want to go, I don't want to reach two hours, that's like that's going to be the longest part in Eastern, and that's more work for me tomorrow, but anyways. Another English team made history last night and becoming the first English team to win six from six. Pista and then Isidore, give me your thoughts. How are you feeling? I know you guys have always said this is your tournament. Everyone won't lie. Like, this is Liverpool's tournament. How are you feeling now going on? Do you think you might have picked too soon? Or how are you guys feeling right now? I, I am a bit wary of the fact that you picked too soon because of what you did in the Champions League. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I believe you need to get that knock to take the target a bit off. Mm. So I fully I, I fully agreed with what Pesco was saying earlier, but I also don't see it as a threat for like a threat for us for that other teams to come at us because of the six out of six. Uh, They're gonna treat Liverpool the same. They're gonna treat gonna Liverpool be, exactly I, the same because, like you said, Liverpool is European, they know for the European great the, yeah. the great games in European football because of the past games. Whenever we play in Europe, it's not the same Liverpool. We can come from a 3-0 loss to United the Saturday. Tuesday we play Champions League. It's a complete different game. So I don't see there's a target on our back. I think we're just gonna go about our business. But it's gonna be exciting to see who we draw first. At the end of the day, David, I don't think that you can peak too soon. As long as you peak, bro. As long as you peak, there's teams that go throughout seasons without peaking. So Liverpool <laughs> has been showing that they've, they've been the most consistent team this season so far. Them along with Chelsea. Along with Chelsea, I'd say that. I mean, if you look team. at the stats, Salah's got the most goals with 13 and the most assists with yeah. 9. Mm. How do you have the most goals and assists in the season? Come on. And then you still have Van Dijk with the yeah, most yeah. clean sheets for the that season. That reminds so me of Kane and so, Sonia. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so, so that gonna... clearly shows yeah. you that yeah. there's a dom not a domination in, in in play, but domination in stats. That's a, that's another thing. Numbers so, don't lie, so... like David said. Numbers, numbers don't, don't lie. lie. Numbers, numbers don't, don't lie. lie. And 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 with Van Dijk back in the team, you can that's the, the Liverpool of old. You see that balls yeah. over to Trent. You see that balls over to Salah. Salah, yeah. we all know, is the best player on this planet, as we see. Yes. But the fan of yes. this whole no in this moment, cuck. But yeah, I have to put take my hat off because this bro is brilliant, brilliant. Especially that fucking first touch against Wolves. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my! Thank you, my guy. Wolves. But yeah, it's <coughs> the the big teams are stepping up, and the English teams is basically overshadowing the rest of Europe. It's going to yeah. be half your. It could be if they dodge each other, an all English semi final or an all, all English final. Because the yeah. level of England this season to the level of the rest of Europe, different, different class. Yeah, very different. And 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 yeah. and let me just say something, Beaster. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal a line that you told me at the beginning of the season when you said that um, we're talking about who's gonna win the league and all of that, and you said you're pref you're in a good position because nobody was looking at Liverpool. You know what I mean? At the beginning yep. of the season. Yep. And they're gonna slide underneath the radar. 
I feel like this Champions League knockout phase, with the way we've qualified, I think that applies to us. I mm. think everybody else is Liverpool's perfect record. Mm. They're looking at you know PSG's front three and, and all of that other stuff. They're looking at Pep correcting what happened last season against us. I just think it's perfectly poised for us to go further in this competition because nobody's looking at us. And I'm all about going through the back door underneath the radar and, and winning the one big game that matters the most. You know, that's what I'm all about. And so yeah. I just feel like it's a knockout game. You know what I mean? It's a knockout competition. Anything can happen. I'll take my chances against anybody. I think I think this is perfect for us because the spotlight's for it's it, the spotlight is on Liverpool. It's for Liverpool, Bayern Munich and City. They are the exactly. ones that be so, exactly. like, I understand so, fully what you mean, Pesco. There's it's a I'd rather take that route. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Than have the target on our chests. I, I'd rather take yeah. this route. When you stop saying Liverpool is is is, uh, is contenders, leave that paper over. <laughs> I, I don't like it. It is, and and, so, it and is so, but and Liverpool's so, handling that pressure quite well. On on footballing sense, that is it. I am talking about that. That is it. You can't football. like the eye test doesn't yeah. lie, my bro. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like. I am not the one to want to give that fucking sort of compliment. But you have six to grand, six wins from two. six. Come on. And yeah, 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 five it. out of the six. But, uh, Benny B, to talk to me. How are you feeling going into this? You played youngsters last night. Big up Robbie Savage, this kid that came on. He was, was a South yeah. Asian kid. Yeah. Yeah. Was a yeah. Yeah. Football moment there. I was most happy, James, for Tommy Eaton, who has had the worst career all over England. Up Man is what Burnley. older than me. Up until Burnley. Up until Burnley. And then that's where he made a name for himself back into the Premier League. And last night, Ralph said, before the time, he spoke to Dean, he said, if everything goes according to plan by the 60th minute, I'd like to bring on Tom Eaton for his Old Trafford debut. Shows the mark of the man. Respect for that. Some, it's things like that that makes football fans giddy, if you know what I mean. True, I like, know what I mean. felt like giddy it, last yeah. night when Zidane Iqbal came on to be the first South Asian player to play in the Champions League. I, uh, and that's big, bro. I, it's, it's a that's mad big. Step. That's big. It's a mad stat, but uh, Charlie Savage is dead commentating on the game that he makes his debut on. That was probably one was of a, the most His dad came from out of, out, of, out of the academy, but never had an, a debut for Manchester United. He's never played on Old Trafford. His son did it last night with his debut. It's, 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 mm. It was huge for the family. It was huge for the club. So things like that, Ralph knows how to tap into. He's, I think he's, he's more brilliant in the mind than what he is with everything else. The first person that he brought in was Chris Armas, who was his, his, his going to be his assistant. He was the manager at Red Bulls, New York Red Bulls. And a sports psychologist was the second person he brought in because we've not had a sports psychologist since 2001. And in football, how can you train the body but not the brain? Mm. I feel that is where United have been lacking mentally. We've been lacking as a team. Mentally, we've been weak as a team. And I feel this is changing after this group because to start that team that we started last night, not caring about the result, and start getting those players to play that hasn't played for the season, that has never played together. I mean, Matic and Bay in defense. Jens, mm. to draw 1-1 one, one up, adds up to Ralph. You're playing against young boys, man. What the fuck are you getting guessed about? Young boys are the Swiss League champions, bro. Yeah, we lost, you, the you, you we lost our first game against, against them. You, man. We lost our first game against them. And we played, <laughs> we played our children. We played our children. To not win. But, uh, it's we played our children. We won AC on the San Siro. We played our children. We won on the San Siro. That's, yeah. well, that's something to rent. We scored for you. Our children won. Who scored for you? You know what? Who uh, scored for you? Diva Kuri against Salah. That's not the point. Me about children. <laughs> Kengi, you know what? Sorry. The children put that's the, the only two players. Only Mane and Salah played. I'm going to go. I'm our centre-backs was Ned Phillips. Our midfield was Morton. Did you mention him? Our midfield was Morton. I'm going to go away from the game quickly. How was that turn was of Matt Phillips to send both that players? Oh man? my word, yes, sir. Sure. That was great. Zlatan is still gone. Zlatan, Zlatan, Zlatan went back to Old Trafford. <laughs> <It was legendary laughs> Zlatan went back to Old Trafford. 
so easy, man. Yo. Out of fucking mountain, yes, man. Sir. Those players gone, bro. But they, but they, they did, I don't know. No, they want to see all that money, bro. I, 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 I can't get it, bro. They want to see all that money, bro. I, I, I think he's yeah, a better sir. player than what Kabak was last season. They respect to Kabak, though, but <laughs> yeah. I, I like yeah. that, man. That, the thing is also, Mati, I, don't, I think his contract is also expiring next season or this, or um, in 2023. Um, that one is still. Look at look how he played against AC. Brilliant. I don't know why Klopp yeah. wants to see all that one. Yes. You got to not have that put Zlatan in his mm. pocket, big man Zlatan. But yeah. we can preview and we can predictions. I'll start with the, with the with the Spanish guy before I come on to the English guys. Ahmad Osasuna. Give me your thoughts and round it up. You know what I think? This is what I think. Osasuna, <laughs> Barcelona. At that stage, Barcelona doesn't look like they can win shit. But the, the, the bigger fan of me is coming out and saying we're gonna... Xavi is gonna, gonna get... One thing that Xavi does, what I've seen he does is he knows how to get the players out of Look, I have... The only reason why I fight is because for me, Dembele didn't play bad at all. When the first game, brought even last night. He didn't play bad. He missed chances, yes. But Dembele needs to realize the player that he is. Um, when he runs with the ball, the players don't, the defenders doesn't come for him. They skate, they back off, they shadow it. He needs to take advantage of that. And I think if we use the likes of Dembele, um, Barca likes doing the false nine thing, whether Xavi likes to do it as well. So whether he's going to play Dembele in the false nine as, as to help, as long as we don't have to have Luke de Jong even on the pins, I'll, I'll be very happy. But if we can play Dembele on the, on the, on the false nine and, and bring in one of those lighties like the update or one of those, I see it a, a one no win only. <laughs> Only a one win. That's that's the wow, most yeah, that I see Barcelona done. Look, you guys, you guys must understand. You're looking Osasuna. Half of the people don't even know who Osasuna is. I've seen Osasuna. Osasuna is not a good team, but Barca is not great at the moment. Barca is one of those people. Yeah. They hold sixty percent possession, and they don't finish. One counter attack from any team. That team can late when you second on the league. He's in such a position. They will concede a goal because that's how bad the defense is. It's not look our position play is fine, we're creating chances, but there is no defense, and that is the issue. So if we can finish the chances that we create, then mm. yes, that's why I say one no is the most I can see Barcelona win this weekend. Fair enough, and I saw that as well last night because you guys got in a lot. Memphis got in. Test, I think test test look a bit uncomfortable last night as well. But they I tried that... playing right wing. I don't understand. Yeah, that. I don't know. That's I don't know. He looked a bit uncomfortable. He looked a bit uncomfortable for me, to be fair. Master P, Leeds United at home. Talk to me. Uh, before I get to that game, David, let me just say something. I remember once upon a time the good old days, right? Where, when a Barca or Sasuna was the easy five 0 for yes, but <laughs> for Barca mm. with a couple of hard there on the field you know what i mean but now yeah it's it, it's it's tough days for barca these days i say um leads i think leads will um i, I think leads will get a hiding at we're playing at home right you're playing at home yeah my brother. yeah i yeah, know look yeah. I, I don't i don't i don't foresee i don't foresee a, th a third bad result from from the guys i think look something gonna have, i think, I gonna think have leads to will will play with a little bit more confidence now that they have patrick bamford back I mean, that is a player you always want to be scared of. Not saying they're going to win, but I don't think it's going to be a pushover for, 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 for Chelsea. I think it's going to be I, one I, of those 3-2, three, 3-3, three, three, three type of games where Chelsea yeah, going to win, but, but Leeds is going to come. Yeah, I, I don't nah, predict they will. But I just think nah, there's going to, look, nah. I'm operating on the premise that there's going to be a reaction. To it has to be, you know what I'm saying? So I can see an easy maybe 4-2 victory, that type of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I expect a positive res like result for the Chelsea side mm -hmm. of things. Fair enough. Benny B, you've got it even easier. You've got fucking Norwich. Talk to me. There's no easy games in the league, James. There's no <laughs> yeah. games in the league. There's only Arsenal. There's no you can lose eight games and we come winning against Arsenal. Arsenal. Get it right. There's no cup teams in the league besides Arsenal. But. <laughs> no, beast, beast, you want to land? Let Beast the land. Wow. I see Spurs' game is uh, postponed because of COVID cases. So where was yeah. Mike? Yes, again, right on. Where was Mike then? 
What the? <laughs> we had how many players out yeah, of COVID? Yeah, that's what fantasy. You say happy when you say players out of COVID. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I, I want us to win 3-0. I want another clean sheet. Yeah. Where's the game being played, Benny? Is it at, at oh, Old Trafford? Old Trafford. Oh, wait. No, no, so away. No, you're playing away. Three games at Old Trafford. playing away. 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 Okay, then even better, we play better away. Three now. Three you now. Guys are playing Kero, <laughs> right? No witch. The big one, the big one, the big dog, the legend, the man, the skipper Stevie comes G. back. Stevie G comes back to Anfield. I want to hear from these two here. On Bro, if you win night. that, it'd be so just. How are oh. they feeling? You can both decide who wants to go first. How are you feeling, man? Yo, David. Go ahead, is it? Go ahead, my friend. Yo, Stevie G, my cold hero. Yo, <laughs> he scored brilliant goals for Liverpool. And now to come to to Liverpool now with, as, as a coach, there's talks of him um, taking over um, from Klopp. But yo, it's gonna be emotional. This one, um, he's been brilliant at um, Villa so far. But look, at, uh, we're gonna see on on Saturday what is it, what is gonna happen. But I can see it's gonna be a uh, three-one Liverpool for me. Beast, beast, you know Gerard how we feel about Villa's one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from the touchline. <laughs> 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 now, I, I, I echo what Isidore is saying about the return to Anfield for Gerard is going to be an emotional one. But Liverpool is not going to be there for pampering Gerard and doing whatever we need to do to get the three points. So I still see us coming away with a clean sheet. Gerard's tactics is good, but I don't see them scoring. Um, the, the way they press and the way they attack is what we want. We want that attacking football so we can expose them quicker. So. Liverpool. I need you guys to beat them because as much as the Arsenal um, Gremlins tell me that we are only, what, four points of fucking top four. We one point of fifth. That was a goal at the beginning of the fucking season. Gerard is four points behind and he came in there for three games. So leave that for another day. Anyway, guys, the main segment of the show, Man of the Week. Ah, who the hell should I start with? Anyone, if you can go first. Anyone, man, another week. Or Ricky. Ralph Ricky. Ralph Ricky. Ralph Rangnick. Ralph Rangnick. Man of the week. Divok or Ricky. Fucking Rangnick. He's my man of the week. Ralph Rangnick, the Rolls Royce. Okay. Are the two a beast then? Is it going for Ricky? Or Ricky, yeah. I'm it going for. Amad, who are you going with? Thomas Muller. The rivals. The rivals. Um, Vinicius Jr. The run of wow. form that Vinicius Jr. is on. Look, yeah, he's brilliant, I, 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 nobody can deny I hate the real Madrid. In my guts, I don't like complimenting this, those people for not for shit. But you cannot deny. Vinicius Junior, what 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 Carlo Ancelotti is doing there it gave him some brains. He suddenly he, he came in as as the Brazilian player that, that that has the talent but couldn't show it. He, he made stupid decision. He runs and then loses the ball. But you slowly you seeing now what Vinicius is capable of, and that is scary. He is literally that player that can run through the whole defense and still has the quality to finish that ball in the top corner. Um, he is for me the man of the week because he's done it. He's he's, he's doing it now for the past couple of games. Um, Sorry, I, I think have he's another, gonna. I have a change for mine. Sorry, you just reminded me of something that I made. Uh -huh. Go ahead, go ahead. I changed mine too to Richarlison. Yeah. Richarlison, are you is like are you the are you with my cousin there commenting? Oh, he's the he's an Everton fan, man. <laughs> 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 I changed my to the Charles and he has, he has that Vinicius Junior vibes about him. Richarlison, Richarlison has a short temper. That's his problem. Richarlison, Richarlison with his hat trick was my man of the week. 
Richarlison is the only player that can get the hat trick and the red card in the same game. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> but but definitely when this is junior, whoever's drawing Real Madrid and say you don't see Real Madrid as a threat, watch when this is junior and then you tell me again if he's dangerous. Fuck him. But definitely Fuck Vinicius. Vinicius. Fuck him. Vinicius. <laughs> Fuck him. You'll break his fucking legs. <laughs> <laughs> Marcel, before I come on to you, I want you guys to know whenever United lose again, I'm coming straight for Benny. There's like six shots he <laughs> fired at me tonight. Yeah, Benny, leave that button alone. <laughs> Bring it on, bitches. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Richarlison was brilliant, though. Richarlison was brilliant. He was awesome, though, to be fair. Give that man his celebrations. Who's bro? <laughs> no nice. Shut up. Was really nice. Nice. The nice. Are you with us? Nice to be with us. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Man of the week, my brother. Um, David Moyes. I'd have Sorry. to give it David, David Moyes. I think, look, what he's doing there yeah. is a good job. And I know that, nice. um, yeah, you, you, you can't overlook that. It's no, it's no longer a fluke. You know what I mean? Let's just be honest. Um, I think he's got them well organized. He's made it a tough place to go. Um, it kind of it kind of has that Upton Park feel to it now. You know what I mean? And so, in the end, yeah, you gotta give him credit to that. I think, yeah, <laughs> he's a he, he's. <laughs> I'm done snagging my balls, bro. I'm done. <laughs> All made me suicidal. I'm so sorry. I'm talking about the comments. Oh, where? Who made you so sad? Let me see. Anyway, carry on, Mr. Be carry on. Yeah, so it's, it's David Moyes for me, man of the man of the week. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna go a bit different. I'm gonna go for the second. I'm gonna go for the second best player in the Premier League, who I think is going under the radar, but he's been outstanding. They bought Jack Grealish to come and replace him because I thought he was going. But I love Bernardo Silva, guys. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Uh, He's my second option behind Richarlison. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that. <laughs> Finish, bro. Just what end up with the clean <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what was a week? Please talk to me. <laughs> Yo. It must Tell be. Tell I, I'm going to use my fantasy brain and say it is, James. Because everyone signed him in, got the yellow card, he conceded three, played 90 minutes, and he made zero points. So I'm leading towards my fantasy to say it would be the old Chelsea team, it would be two show, can be Arsenal. But I'm gonna say Reese James because of the discipline. I was one of the yeah, players that still had Reese James in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, everyone God. signed him and then he did that. <laughs> yeah, <I'm gonna> <laughs> Anyway, okay. That, that's the most confusing. Right. You know, like, <laughs> is it all? Talk to me. You're flop of the week, my brother. I would say Mendy. I don't know what he did with that game uh, on Bowen. <laughs> that penalty. Fair enough. Fair Pascal's face, man. Pascal's Oh, my <laughs> flop of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Obama Young, Obama Young, Obama Young, Obama Young, Obama Young, Obama Young. What that, the that fuck is the issue with me? That chance that he missed in the last minute. That chance that he missed in the last minute of stoppage time, the last kick of the game. That was what Eddie Murphy didn't do. Ah, that is the, 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 the last kick of the game. Your captain, he came on to get captain's armband off and missed the sitter. From that sitter, they blowed full time. You said, done. goodbye, you just lose. Obama Young is mine. My motherfucker of the week. Okay. <laughs> Ayub, uh, so my, Ayub, um, Ahmad, I'm looking at Ayub here in the comments. Sorry, Ahmad, yo, yo. That is my cousin. It's loving fucking with me. He's a Madrid supporter. You can most now guess what I'm going to say. The yellow fucking Barcelona squad is my fucking flop of the week. The whole <laughs> squad. The whole squad. The whole they squad. Better be good. The whole squad. They all need to go sit down and rethink what they're going to do. Not the Stegen, the whole team. The flop of the week is FC Barcelona. The last <laughs> podcast, I said it was a defense. This podcast is the whole team. Because why you <laughs> guys couldn't... You guys should have at least walked out with pride and say we scored one or two goals against Bayern. You guys couldn't do that. 
for me, it's, it's the whole team. They need to go sit in the rethink. Hold it. Enough, fair enough, my brother. And Master your flop, Davey, who's your flop? Your your flop. flop. We didn't hear your flop yet. Yes, Davey, well, who's mine, your flop? Lost. Okay, Master sorry, P, go ahead, Master. Uh, the Chelsea back three. For the, for the week? Yeah, yeah. Flop of the week there, that goes to them. Um, what they did was very uncharacteristic. We all know that. Now, and so, Pascal, why did you pull your face like that when I said it is James? And, and when I said no. Mendy. <laughs> and when he said Mendy, but yeah, you saw. Yep. Say, I didn't no, know you also. Of you look disgusted, uh, Pastor P. <laughs> you, your reasoning was terrible on that, but you're blaming it on one guy based on the fantasy. Come on, stop it. Look, um, <laughs> it's, it's the back. <laughs> I said, I said it could be the whole Chelsea team, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna point it out and say, Reese James. <laughs> yeah, but you point out Reese James for your own selfish reasons. We know that, so that's fine. But like, if, if, if you had said the whole team, I'd have taken, I'd have taken it properly. You know what I mean? But like at the end of the day, it has to be the back three. And just for the record, Beast, I'm not saying Rhys James had a good game by any stretch of the imagination. You know what I mean? I'm just saying you're doing it for the fantasy points, man. That's why. But, like, yeah, it's 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 the back three. For me, it's a Chelsea back three. Um, I thought they were, yeah, they were just off it. Uh, terrible. And, yeah, look, I, I'm a Chelsea fan, but at the end of the day, I'm always going to call it like it is. So that they get the flop of the week. I'm going to call out my flop of the week. Everybody associated with Arsenal. Yeah. The football people, <laughs> fan, the coach, the owner, the board, everybody. Wow. I still haven't heard a message from nobody. And I just want you guys to see the the, the level of consistency that these football thickos have. <laughs> these gremlins. The gremlins will come out on Sunday after we beat Southampton. And then, <laughs> I don't know what they can. And then we play West Ham the Wednesday, and then they go quiet again. So everybody associated with Arsenal, it's my flop of the week. Oh. Besides the real G's, besides the real G's, your Fabo, your your Nigels, your your Ashraf, your Roscoe's, those guys. But the Arteta Inns, no one talking about. So everybody associated with Arteta in, fuck yourself, wow. fuck your grandmother through a straw. I hope you bump your knee tonight, and I hope you bump your toe against the underside of a bed, and it pains all evening. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to it. Just no, bro. Final. Can't have final thoughts after that cack. We need to stop this shit right here. Just with no that. final thoughts. Come on, let's move. Let's move. We need to do this. It's a tradition. We need to do this. Come on, we need to do this. We've been going for two hours. Uh, we might as well uh, finish uh, it. Come on. Nah, bro. I'm just. I'm. My final thoughts is I'm just happy. I'm not an Arsenal fan. Because fuck me, <laughs> fuck me, that cack was deep. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not an Arsenal fan. That's my final fucking thought. Okay. Who wants to go In next? Fact, I'm done. I'm just upset. I'm just my fucking knock toes against beds and fucking <laughs> have sex with grandmas and straws and cut. <laughs> the fuck? I'm, I'm, I'm touched. Oh, oh my. Who wants to go next? Final Anyone thought. can go next? Final thought. Final thought. Thanks for the, for, the, for the late invite. I appreciate my bro. <laughs> you always also appreciate my bro. Uh, Everyone is more awkward now after that. Are you just TV? I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, he can say whatever he wants to. He knows. He knows he can say whatever. Is that it? Come give more Isadors. The, the people want you to give more. No, Isadors is uncomfortable now. Because I'm sick of grandmas. Yeah, man. Not be baby bed, not be. I call it. My, my conference Bro, is we story. all are Teta in. Don't talk nonsense. You know you are Teta in. Well, oh I've got. I went only in the world. Man, man. <laughs> oh. he was, was waiting for the show. This is all I left. He was <laughs> waiting. Yeah. Brother man from from the get go and I was touched from the beginning because I'm <laughs> extremely at the in. I'm extremely at the in. Anyway, give the next person a run, man. I'm tired of you now, man. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah. Final thoughts. Um, 
I think the Premier League um, fixtures is going to be pretty interesting. I don't know what the road for Barcelona is. I know I'm rather looking at next season than looking at this season. This season, I will be lucky if I make top four. I would really like to qualify for Champions League. I still have hope. I see Javi's vision. Hopefully, if the players come back sooner, we can do it. Um, but my final thoughts is Arsenal, I'm going to go through. Arsenal needs to get as quickly as possible rid of Arteta. I don't think it's a problem with the, with the players. I think it's always a management style. If the management style doesn't work, get out there. Some person, what you're holding on to, I don't know. You're trying to protect the player's legacy. He's meaning to the club. That doesn't matter at this stage. If he's not doing the job, get him out. Um, so I really hope Arsenal gets another manager because it's always was always exciting over the years watching Arsenal play football. Now it's it's it's, it's not that exciting. You kind of know what the result's going to be. Um, with Liverpool, Liverpool's riding the wave of form. Congratulations. Keep it going. I think that the, 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 the most important thing that I like about Liverpool is how they handle the pressure. Um, I actually think they actually have depth. I mean, at, at, at this stage, Liverpool can throw on any light there and, and he will fit in because of, of that confidence that's, that's, that's riding yes, with, with Liverpool. So, so I really, really think Liverpool is going to get the strength. I don't see Liverpool losing one out. I think it's going to be a tough league, but I would really like Liverpool to, to, to pull off a... a, a a league win, so to say. Um, United and Ragnik. Um, Ragnik is a person that I said before, Benny, I don't know if you saw, he's a man-to-man um, manager. He's going to sit with every player, which is why I congratulate him for doing what he did. He gave all the lighties a chance. He basically said, this is an open field, impress me. That's a you right, position. If you ask me. That's yes, he's cut, really, right? he really was like, let's see what I'm sitting with. That's what he did. I'm giving everybody a chance because why if... What most managers do, they come in and like, okay, this is my eleven, and I take a few from the bench and you don't even look at the other players. Meanwhile, that player, that light that's 18, 17, could have had an X factor that you weren't aware about. Now you sell the light to other team on loan or you sell him and then he does the X factor thing there. Ragnik was like, I'm going to see what I sit with and take it from there. But Ragnik is a person that has a big ego. I said this before. Um, he's a person, you can't tell him what to do. He was a person who came in, I'm going to take six months and then I'm going to do a consulting role. He didn't. It wasn't up for, for discussion. He just said, that's what I want. And United gave it to him. So it's going to be a thing where his ego, his dominance is going to come in, where he's going to be saying, this is what I want. Is either you stick with it or you don't stick with it. The thing yeah, but that's, that's what exactly United what we need, bruh. That's exactly that's what we yeah. need. Yeah. That that's exactly what we need because we didn't have it for three fucking years under Ole. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. And for and me, you know, the biggest, is... biggest question is going to be, is the next person is going to listen that comes in after Ragnik? Because Ragnik is only going to be there six months. He wants to be consulting. He wants to change Always the club. Always <laughs> <laughs> coming back. So it's going to be interesting to see who they're going to choose as, as manager. Chelsea, I, uh, Pascal, Chelsea, I feel... In all honesty, Chelsea is a team that really, really can compete. I don't think they're doing that bad, in all honesty. I don't have really much bad to say about Chelsea. In all honesty, yes, their defense lets you down. I, I fully understand that coming from a Barcelona point of view. I, I'm 100% understanding where that's coming from. But I yeah. really do feel Chelsea, even with the injury of, 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 of Kante, which you can clearly see and so well, I don't feel you guys are really losing out because you guys would have been way further down the picking order if you really feel you're losing out. You are really still yeah. competing. Um, That's a, true. Chelsea is a, is, a, is a very, very tough coach. So I can't say bad things about Chelsea, to be honest. I'm actually really liking Mason Mount and what he's, and how he's coming to the team. Um, sure. Um, Mason Mount has been quite impressive for me. I think if it's a midfielder, that's a player that stands he's the, out there. My man. He's the future. What did we lose, um, Timo Werner. I think you guys lost me there for a second. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah. No, it's fine. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Pro- I think I'm frozen I think, too. I think Timo Werner, Timo, Timo Werner is a... I know he got his goal against the Champions League, but I don't think Timo Werner is a player they should hold on to. I don't I don't see Werner fitting in anywhere. I know he's exciting and he's a big player. I think he's gotten too many chances. Um, but yeah, my yeah. final thought for the that week that's is... That's Barcelona, why anyway, do I care about now? Fair enough. 
Look, you could you could criticize Werner, but I think Pascal knows the stat as well. Since Werner has come to Chelsea, no other player has scored more goals than him, though, so... He scored way more than fucking Eddie Murphy. Pascal, final thoughts, my brother. Talk to me, are you here? Um, um... Let me let me just uh, uh, let me just come back to Ahmed for a second. Look, I obviously uh, it's it's a tough time to be a Barcelona fan now, especially because of the success that you guys you know the consistency as well, not just the success, but the consistency that you guys um, you know enjoyed over the the, the Messi era you know what i mean but obviously it was obvious that whenever you guys were gonna have to make a change with messi something different was gonna have to happen you know what i mean so in the end it's time it's time for you guys to rebuild and um the, look at the end of the day trust in the process i think xavi knows what he's doing he, he has been there um for for a long time to know what it is that he needs to do in order to address the situation i think so as a player obviously so that 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 culture is in his blood you know what i mean i think he's gonna do well i really do and i'm not, I'm not just saying that for the sake of of, of, of saying it I, I really think that you guys are, might might actually finish in the top three i really do um if he, if he gets everything on point within the next coming weeks um benny it's good to see benny with his chest out you know flexing <laughs> making fun of people on the pod mm. uh because he <laughs> because for, I was him, sad for, for the longest for, fucking time bro Exactly for the. How sad as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I was so sad that bro froze. Obviously, um, <laughs> I still yeah. If, He's still no, what if he doesn't mind? Listen, um, but at the end of the day, look, I'm I'm just looking forward to to the weekend, David D. Um, mm -hmm. obviously, you want to see the reaction by the team. And uh, yeah, let's just see what happens. Uh, but there's there's nothing for us Chelsea fans to panic about. You know what I mean? I think everything is in is in order. And at the end of the day, it's just a matter of um, going through this little dip that we're having at the end of the day. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that fixture against Leeds, and let's see what happens. Um, Bista, thanks for answering. <laughs> that took um, how many days to answer because of the chaos in the group? You know what I mean. <laughs> I appreciate that, my man. You know, but otherwise, yeah, looking good. Looking forward to the fixtures over the weekend. Well, love, love, my bro. And again, um, look, this has been the longest podcast of the year. Trust you guys to do this on the second last podcast for the year. But it was awesome. The time fl flew by. I don't know how you guys felt. Um, they always say time flies when you're having fun, and I enjoyed this discussion with you guys. As always, look at what's therapeutic. I feel much better. I'm going to wake up a much better man than what I woke <laughs> up this entire week. Um, so, peace, my brother. Take us home, my guy. Three, three games in seven days. We're looking forward to that. So, yeah, I'm excited to see how the teams are going to come up for the 11s, the starting 11s is going to play because we play on Saturday, Thursday, Sunday. So it's a lot of football. So I'm excited to see how all of the teams is going to square up. I see Spurs might be out up until our fixture, which is the following Sunday. So they might be out for the whole week. So that's also going to throw in the spanner in the works where certain clubs are not going to play two games, the three games in the week. They're just going to play two and others are going to play three in the week. So, yeah, mm. we, we wait and see and let's see what happens. I just hope the COVID doesn't spread to the other clubs and we see more postponed games because the, yeah. the I just hope Christmas, that they don't, December get rush don't is for the fans, Beast. The fans. They mustn't play yeah. games without fans anymore. Fuck that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for the two and a half hours. Fuck me. My back is sore. My bum is sore. Yo. Yeah. 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 You know what? My bum is sore. My heart is sore. My is sticking here. Yo, big up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> honestly, nah, nah, you know what? Seriously. Is it my heart is sore? We started 15 minutes my late. Heart is late because of my own issues. But big up to you guys I for sticking with me. I feel like Isabel fell asleep thrice there. Through this, through this two hours, <laughs> wow! I'm gonna have to do. Every time we just I'm gonna have to do a whole lot of clipping. Part one, there's gonna be like five parts of this. Um, one and a half hours is gonna be cutting out all Benny Sweeney. Fuck you! The whole an hour, yeah. and he's struggling with a fucking signal and swaying the entire time and melting down, but. 
You know what, Beast, if you can hear me, big ups to you, my bro. I appreciate it. Isado, love for jumping on. Benny P, as always. Yo, my brother, Ahmad, love for jumping on. Pascal, thank you, as always, for sticking this ride with me. This is the longest podcast we've done in three years that we've been doing this thing. It's DVD, it's Beast, it's Isado, it's Benny B, it's Ahmad, it's Pascal, and we are out here. Love is love.